Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to own esports tournament i'm your host anindita also known as ton aphrodite and we're joined today by these fantastic gamers here to fight till they conquer the title of the ultimate champion we feel so obliged to have gotten the opportunity to bring this series to you and we have received esteemed responses such as lakshya digitals and keyword studios now jumping straight towards our first match of the first day we can see we've got two teams team x and sintelets with us going in for a battle in the wonderful map of breeze you might want to moss you around the idyllic and tackling ocean beaches of breeze but there's a valorant game to be played the map features two extremely large bomb sites and plenty of ways to approach them whether through the big chokes or tiny corridors and halls There's also a vent rotate between A side and mid which can catch any lurkers by surprise. All right then. We can see the match has been started and the agents have begun to be selected. We have team X still contemplating whether or not they want to select they want to lock the characters they selected. We have Viper, Killjoy, Sage, Reyna and Jet on team X and we have locked in Viper Sage, Jet, Sova, and Killjoy, and Sintelets. Well, now we're so thrilled to watch what goes down today. On that note, I request my dear friend and fellow talent Aryan to take you through this journey by being your caster and post-game analyst. Over to you, Aryan. Hello guys. Welcome to the game. And it looks like the agents are finally locked in. So at the defense side, it, the team X is has chosen to lock up with double duelist and an interesting pick by the team X Reyna. Like it's not that common of a choice for the map of Breeze, but let's see what they can do with this double duelist heavy attacking setup. For the attackers they are they are quite relying on like their defensive setups they have sage viper and they are choosing to go with only one duelist that is jet and we'll see what happens next so jumping into the match the match already started and jet for the from the defense side jet is looking like he's about to go aggressive at a main and attackers ki side se wahan pe bhi lag raha like full attack on a like five man push 
it can be interesting let's see what the defenders can do to and the and the defenders are also anticipating this push so let's see what will happen and who wins viper has already thrown his ball and sova from the attacker side is using the drone to clear out some cheeky angles but jet is not spotted yet this might be uh, as expected oh no a wrong dash but still damage control is 100% right and they are again beating killjoy aage badhte hue ek aggressive position hold karne ke liye li hai मिड की तरफ से गोट कुछ एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं कि मिड से कोई लड़कर आ सकता है बट पीच फ्रॉम द अटैकर साइड दे ऑलरेडी डिसाइडेड टू गो अप टू साइड पी स्टेज बी पे आ चुकी हैं और मिड वॉल हो चुका है एंड द प्लांट इज गोइंग ऑन The plant has started, and like the defenders are already know about this planting at B and Sage ki position. बहुत ही सही है वहाँ से वो लोग. Sage अभी aggressive push पे है. Sage has already taken one down, and it's only one defender left. who is also coming from b main and the seed is not expecting it sank but this will go this round will go with the attackers enemy take it out so round 1 goes to attacker side and sentinel is with a lead now again the economy here plays a important part लाइक like, पहले दो राउंड्स काफी क्रूसियल हो जाते हैं जब हम लोग किसी भी सेटअप को देखें चाहे वो अटैकिंग हो या डिफेंसिव पहले दो राउंड्स काफी क्रूसियल होते हैं क्योंकि वो आपको एक मोमेंटम मोमेंटम दे देता है एंड उस मोमेंटम को कैरी फॉरवर्ड करना पड़ेगा एंड इंटरेस्टिंग चॉइस जेट हैज ऑप्टेड फॉर अ गार्डियन एंड लेट सी वॉट ही कैन डू विद दो जेट हैज ऑलरेडी गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द बी मेड mid to a they are committing mid to a and rest of the team are in front of a side let's see what they can do and jet might not be expecting this this may be oh and here goes the guardian the biggest weapon in this round and it's with the defensive side right now goat has the guardian and other rest of the attackers are still not able to get on the side but look at that viper is planting and the spam sort for all is connected few of them but not enough to delay the plant so wo apne shock darts ka pura istemal kar but ye classics classics ruk nahi rahe hain classic ke right clicks and sayed se attacking viper has chosen for to go for the lineups is moment pe kafi tough ho jayega and the diffuser already started all the rena flash the perfect moment it might get diffused Arena comes up with the kill, but the lineup it works. Let's see. Oh, Kakashi with a great clutch. The IGL takes up the gun and goes for the fight. A brilliant 4K and a nice round for the attacker side. All credit goes to Kakashi. Now let's see if they can convert this bonus round or not. This time attackers are. It looks like attackers are going towards the B setup, but on the B side, there will be Killjoy waiting for them. Because of the last round, the Jet from the attacker side has opted for Guardian, so he doesn't have much credit left for this round and opted for Inspector instead. But again, the that push from Reina, a dismiss could have been better, but I guess the Reina chose for the Heat instead. Sank has already farming up the orb, and it's a bonus round for the attackers. So, if they win it, like their economy will be in good hands. Like for the next two three rounds, they won't be having any problem. 
but again the spam sorts are connecting towards jet he'll get up for the heel not yet यहाँ पर देखने वाली बात ये होगी कि सोवा अभी एंगल्स कैसे क्लियर करते हैं बट जो मिड सेलर की एक्सपेक्टेशन है सैंक की वो शायद से सही हो रही है बट गोट हैज डिसाइडेड टू इग्नोर दैट बी साइड एंड गो टूवर्ड्स मिड मिड चेक करने के बाद रोटेशन की संभावना गोट को लग रही है एंड अब पूरे अटैकिंग टीम को पता है कि एक लड़कर आ रहा था पीछे से एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट टेरेट अभी वो वहां पर नहीं है so they can easily rotate left. now if they want but again so why is so why is tempted to go to the b side and the spike is still outside the b defenders are watching mid constantly they are constantly oh jet will hear this rotation i guess but there is very less time this might not Ten be what attackers were planning to do like it is only 6 seconds left oh my god there is no time left no time left just save the guns Let's see if they can at least save the guns. A free round given towards the defender side. I think वो लोग थोड़े confused हो गए B side के बाहर. उतना time लगना नहीं चाहिए था. But कोई बात नहीं लगा है. And for now, it's two one. Defenders coming back up with their buy round. And attackers अपने बचाए हुए specters, SMGs, जो भी थोड़े मोरे गन्स है उनके साथ अभी कोशिश करेंगी इस राउंड में अपनी बढ़त वापस से बढ़ाने की जो कि ऑलरेडी लीड कर रहे हैं टू वन से बट लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपेंस दिस टाइम सेज ने हॉल्स को तो वॉल कर दिया है उनके इंटेंशन बहुत क्लियर लग रहे हैं कि हॉल्स से कोई बंदा नहीं आना चाहिए और जितने भी प्लेयर्स हैं अगेन इट्स एन ए पोस्ट सोवा वंडरफुल सारे एंगल्स को क्लियर करते हुए बट ऑलरेडी एक प्लेयर स्पॉटेड है पिरामिड पे एंड जेट इज जस्ट होल्डिंग बैक pushing very slowly and now the all, all of the members from the attacker side are in the side and plant the spike has already been planted british player very carefully observing the backstab and if someone comes for the back backstab which is very less likely then it won't be happen jet jet is playing the cheeky game with his smoke and no just one player remaining is also uh get something up huge it's all on killjoy killjoy is, but it's diffusing no no killjoy is, and the sprays doesn't connect and as a result it's an equalizer defenders are playing quite aggressive for now they are, they like to hold it some time but at the other hand let's see लास्ट राउंड पे अटैकर्स के पास कम गन्स थी सारे यूटिलिटीज नहीं थी अभी भी एक एरीज है एक फैंटम एंड कुछ क्लासिक शायद से वो शेरिफ पे ऑप्ट करना चाहेंगे या फिर ये फुल बाय करेंगे फोर्स बाय अगेन सेम सेटअप देखने को मिल रहा है ए के बाहर सारे ही लोग हैं बट जेट रेना इज ट्राइंग टू टेक डूअल रेना इज क्लियरिंग द elbow angle from b side but they are already they have already passed each other and this could be huge because jet ki call kisi bhi defender ke paas nahi hai agar jet chahe to mid mid to a ja ke push play bana sakte hain bahut hi acha but look at that rena is already come up towards a main and kya inko koi expect kar raha hai no oh some whip shots but damage control again iski bhanak jet ko to lagi gayi hogi and as a result जेट ट्रेड आउट अभी तक जितने भी डिफेंडर्स हैं सिर्फ किल जो है बी साइड पे तो अगर अभी अटैकर्स चाहे तो वो लोग जा सकते हैं बी साइड पे बट क्या ये एंटी स्पीड सीज बिल्कुल कर रहे हैं वो मिड की तरफ ऑलरेडी आ चुके हैं अपनी पोजिशन ले चुके हैं एंड अब यहां से एक ही रास्ता बचता है अटैकर्स के लिए बी साइड बी मेन से जाना क्योंकि मिड पे सीज ऑलरेडी तैनात है सोवा का रिकॉन रेडी है सोवा ने रिकॉन किया एंड दिस अग्रेसिव पुश लेट्स सी एंड जेट विद ग्रेट एंट्री एंड नाइस शॉट टूवर्ड किल जो एंड दैट किल वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द लॉकडाउन इज ऑलरेडी डन ओ दिस राउंड आई डोंट थिंक हाउ दे लूज दिस राउंड दिस राउंड इज डन बट गोट अभी भी कोई डिफेंडर्स हार नहीं मान रहा है ये फोर वी फोर रीटेक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग हो सकता है कुछ स्पैम शॉक डार्ट 
and Kakashi with a kill on its counterpart Viper. Reina just going huge with the triple kill, and Sage will clear off the last player, and but not the last player. The, the Viper still survives and playing off from it. And Reina finishes it off. Reina with the four k and it's a it was a pretty cool round. But again, defenders, बहुत ही अच्छा retake. Retake की तो दांत देनी पड़ेगी. अभी तक जितने भी रिटेक्स हुए हैं काफी सहज देखने वाली बात यह होगी कि क्या रेना देखने वाली बात यह होगी कि क्या रेना इस बार भी वही करते हैं जो वो हमेशा से करते आए हैं जो कि मिड टू बी पुश करना उनको बहुत ही पसंद है मिड टू एल्बो बी एल्बो एंड गोल्ड विद द ब्लेड स्टॉम नाउ लेट्स सी सम क्रिस्पी शॉर्ट अगर कुछ तो वन टैप्स देखने को मिलते हैं तो तो क्या ही कहने बट सो ने क्लियर आउट करने की कोशिश करी एंड क्लोज एंगल्स क्लियर आउट हो गए बट सेज स्पॉट्स आउट जेट बट जेट इज नॉट टेकिंग फाइट नॉट नॉट अनलेस इज श्योर दैट ही इज गोन विन इट आई हैव द स्पाइक केयरफुली स्पाइक ट्रांसफर किया जा रहा है पास में बट अभी भी कुछ डिसाइडेड है नहीं ए पे जाना है या फिर बी पे लोग अभी अटैकर्स अभी कॉन्टेप्लेट कर रहे हैं बट टोवा एंड जेट पुशिंग अप दॉल्स दिस वुड बी ह्यूज दे आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग इट थ्री ऑफ द डिफेंडर्स ऑल ऑन साइड नो वंस वॉचिंग हॉल्स दिस दिस इज नॉट राइट फॉर द डिफेंडर्स साइड एंड दिस कुड गो जस्ट ए वायर लेट्स सी एंड एग्जैक्टली Jet with a great kill, and now, now let's see what Goat can do with the blade storm. Oh, he misses that, and Sova just takes up the opportunity to take up the counter pass. Thirty seconds left, and it's a two v five retake. I don't think it's gonna happen. Like they will most five probably planted. choose to save the guns that they have. That is phantoms, and that would be a wise Black decision, I guess. But Reina is not stopping. It's one v five. Can Reina do it? Let's see. Everyone. Every and Jet will be Jet was caught, but his luck. Oh, everyone's playing from backside. No one's taking a fight. No one's trying to. No one's trying to take a fight and lose their gun because again, economy plays a great part, and this game is all about economy and stat. And but the Rina gets shut down by the Jet. and jet with a 4k amazing entry those entry kills were great ab thodi si mushkil ho sakti hai economy ko leke for defenders and at the same time it's a 4 to score agar aap dekhe attackers ki economy pe to unki economy bahut hi zyada achhi chal rahi hai abhi like everyone can have one extra gun at any point but is bari dekhna interesting ye hoga ki ab attackers kya karte hai ये लोग पुश तो बहुत अच्छा कर रहे हैं बट कहीं ना कहीं रीटेक में थोड़ा चूक रहे हैं रीटेक हो जाता है बट लास्ट टाइम जैसे उन्होंने डिफेंड किया वो काफी अच्छा था बट ऑल दैट गोज टू द जेट लाइक द एंट्री वाज ग्रेट गोट ऑलरेडी मिड पे पुश अप कर चुके हैं अग्रेसिव एंड देखने वाली बात ये होगी कि अगर अब कोई भी अटैकर मिड पे आता है तो गोट इज रेडी गोट इज रेडी टू पनिश दैम मीन वाइल अटैकर सो आर जस्ट क्लियरिंग every corner every corner where defenders can hide and they decided to i think this bait is working like two two of the defenders are on a side as you can see viper and reina and jet with a aggressive push towards mid see jabhi bhi contemplate kar rahi hai ki mid se play bana sakte hain to agar mid pe wapas se ye log jate hain to abhi mid pe do log tainat hain jo ki inko punish kar sakte hain that is jet and sage and बी का पूरा दारूमदार अकेले के संभालते हुए खेल जो है द लोन वुल्फ ऑन बी साइड बट ककाशी इज ककाशी फाइंड गोट एंड दिस कुड बी ह्यूज बिकॉज नो वन एल्स इज ऑन बी एज ऑफ नाउ द सेज इज स्टिल कमिंग अप दिस कुड बी ह्यूज लाइक सो विल गेट कॉट ओ ही एस्केप्स एंड द पोजिशन ऑफ स्किल जो है ओ इट्स नॉट गुड इट्स जस्ट नॉट गुड एंड Exactly, the seed gets caught in the middle of the round, and now okay, Killjoy, Killjoy finds a kill because of the position. उन्होंने काफी 
और ही उन्होंने ऑप्ट कर लिया है लॉकडाउन यूज करने का बट ये लॉकडाउन डिस्ट्रॉय हो सकता था बट रेना कमिंग अप यूज रेना ने उस पूरे लॉकडाउन को बचा लिया और अब शायद से ये राउंड भी खिल जो अकेले के ले सकते हैं एंड काकाशी काकाशी इज जस्ट प्लेइंग विद देयर माइंड विद हिज ग्रेट लाइनअप एंड काकाशी विद फाइंड द वन एंड आई गेस ही विल गो एंड द पिट कमिट्स एंड काकाशी विद अ क्लच अगेन रिमेंबर दिस इज द गाय दिस इज द क्लच मास्टर ऑफ दिस मैच लाइक ही हैज डन ऑलमोस्ट टू क्लचेस फॉर नाउ the five rounds that are attackers won every round like akash is coming up huge and the same with the audacity audacity is playing very aggressive and for now there is a time out from the attacker side so just they just want to mess up with their brains or like it may be because of someone got disconnected okay someone from attackers got disconnected let's see इकोनॉमी की जहां तक हम लोग बात कर रहे थे इकोनॉमी काफी खराब अब तो डिफेंडर्स के लिए हो चुकी है क्योंकि बिकॉज ऑफ द लास्ट राउंड काशी ही प्ले टू वेल अब इकोनॉमी अच्छी नहीं है तो ऑब्वियसली फुल बाइस तो आप आएंगे नहीं एंड जैसा कि हम लोग देख सकते हैं डिफेंडर्स आर चूजिंग ऑप्टिंग फॉर स्पेक्टर्स वन और टू राइफल्स mostly specters and let's see what they can do with it and reina is with like 107 and the match resumes everyone's pushing up towards a main like is bari attackers bahut clear headed lag rahe hain ki a pe jana hai do log mid se aa rahe but again reina is just going aggressive from the defender side and he is again clearing out the elbow he will just give out give out the call there's no one on elbow but this could be huge what happens at mid reina viper jet and reina gets caught on the mid that crucial info like if reina could have get past it was a done round but again stage is clearly holding off the angle but again jet is also taken up the trade up and okay mid mid push mid se push aa chuka hai and the better jet survives goat with a great kill on audacity but take some spam shots in the viper's pit i don't think the attackers would want to go to towards the a side because of the viper's ultimate right but who knows and obviously that was a ego peak from goat obviously his hp was only 7 but again they decided to just peek off and three of the attacker sova leading the march 30 seconds teach support karte hue finding out One agar wo viper pit se bahar kahin dikhti hai then he is hoping to just pick him off and spike about to plant spike is planting and viper ne plant kar diya is spike and now at this point of time everyone knows takashi likes to play with the lineups but again this is a 3v3 retake anything can happen everyone lurking towards the viper speed and the counter pit is just amazing this is going to be a maze this is this is just something like a maze everyone's trying to find out on each other and oh this is not right okay and viper is going towards i mean because he knows even because he knows his counterpart and now everyone knows that the sazeb was on a side and he gets caught kakashi again with a great triple kill and kakashi is just he is just putting up the number on impact frags like all of his frags are impactful my ultimate is not ready nothing he do that goes out for free and anything but again economy again the defenders are not backing up any time and the interesting pick is that jet comes up with the operator and let's see on the a side what jet can do with that op obviously when defenders have only specters to work with jet is already decided but sage will wall off jet so denying all the visibility but again jet pe dhyan rakhna padega ki wo apne operator se kya karte hain is round pe kyunki jaisa dekh sakte hain डिफेंडर्स के पास अच्छी बाय है नहीं 
एंड गोट एंटिसिपेट कर रहे हैं गोट है बैंडल वो एंटिसिपेट कर रहे हैं कि ए पुश हो सकता है बट वाइपर्स वॉल एंड स्टेज गेट शॉर्ट बट नो नॉट द किल and the operator gets deleted goat with a great kill on audacity that kill matters a lot because that operator that that two on hands of jet that needed to be deleted from this round but match round abhi khatam nahi hua hai it's again 4v5 and no one's deciding to break the recon bolt and as a result it was a it was a pretty easy kill for their soa to pick off jet because obviously you you cannot just stand behind a wall being scanned by a recon so so will know and the push again but this time the attackers will have a problem because their duelist is not like but again so why is taking up the duelist role let's see if he can find another one the sage has already walled up and the plant will go pretty much smooth but so why just decided to push aggressive and get caught Let's see if Killjoy can anticipate this. No, Kill. Okay, that's a fair enough trade. Let's see what attackers are planning to do, and their plan looks very simple. Kakashi just gonna play with his lineups, and like we all know, his lineup works. Like, and Sage is just okay. Sage, you choose to revive the Jet, and let's see if he can finish it off. But no, but Kakashi, his lineup will do it definitely, and. This guy is playing on another level. Like all the lineups connect, all the pits, the timings are so perfect. Everything's, everything's great. Like, but defenders now they decided to take up a time out and relax their nerves and talk things out. What what is going wrong? And सबसे important बात ये है कि defenders ने अभी तक एक भी बार save करने का opt नहीं किया है. हालांकि उनकी economy बहुत गंदी जा रही है अच्छा अच्छे बाइज नहीं आ रहे हैं बट कॉन्स्टेंटली दे आर फोर्स बाइंग आई डोंट नो व्हाई शायद से इसी बात को क्लियर आउट करने के लिए डिफेंडर्स ने टाइम आउट लिया होगा बट एज वी कैन सी देयर जेट प्लेयर इज आल्सो डिस्कनेक्टेड सो इट्स अ टेक्निकल स्लैस स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट एज वी कैन सी बिकॉज अगेन इवन इफ इट्स टेक्निकल टाइम आउट दे नीड टू फिगर आउट सम थिंग्स लाइक दिस अटैक लाइन अप इज नॉट स्टॉपिंग The audacity and Kakashi—they are just playing wonderful Valorant right now. But let's see. Once the round starts, then we'll look at the buys. And finally, if defenders will choose no, defenders are again going with the force buy, and the economy is just shattered on the defender side. But let's see again. Audacity with the op. If Killjoy on B side. Now we know Killjoy likes to play on B side, but this time around Killjoy decided to go to the A side, and defenders are playing with a man advantage. Not good for them. But let's see. Again, Sova is not taking up any chances. He's clearing out every angle, and the B side is almost here. The Sova catches no one. The recon will confirm ahead. that. And exactly, just like that, the B side is given for free. Defenders are coming back from mid and CT spawn. Let's see if they can retake this one because attacker Killjoy has already put up his ultimate, the lockdown, and Kakashi finds up the lurker from the backstab. And meanwhile, Witty Slayer also takes up one, so it's technically two v five retake, which would be very difficult, but again not impossible. Let's see if the defender Sage can do something if he finds one on the B main. then there might be a possibility but if no again he's he's been spotted and it would be a very easy kill for the operator because he, as we can see he has only specter and kakashi again to find out the standing opposite viper from the lurking side and the again the next this round also the 10th round goes towards attackers and it's a 8-2 score line right now they are enjoying the match they are enjoying the match attackers are having no no problem in getting into the site and getting those plants and once they get the once okay so goat has returned from being afk so let's hope here for defenders if they can do something in this round here and let's see again it's a a hit audacity with the op 
Taking out the angle, but Reyna, Reyna is trying to push up on Ailey with the flash and he will do but Audacity wins, what a great shot! A nice flick, a nice micro adjustment into the Reyna's chest and it goes. And here goes the position of the Defender's Viper too. So while uh, Recon will clear out some things. Here. And Viper. And Viper. The plant is already done and now we know Kakashi is just going to play from the backside, from the A main and his lineup. They, they, are, they are just too good. The lineups are crazy and Audacity, Audacity making that operator work. And Audacity still pick up. Oh, oh my god, Audacity with the third kill from the operator. Oh, misses one, misses one, but again, Audacity gets down and oh, was trying to do something with the operator but fails, but his classic doesn't fail. And again, the operator, this might be huge, but the wipers. Like, there is no. There is no denying that Kakashi is playing super well and <laughs> OG Lock will be Last round in the half. dying because of the uh, the spike, uh, spike explosion. But let's see what happens in this round. Is it going to be 9 3 curls or a 10 2 swap? The last round of the first half starts and again Jet has opted for the operator. Let's see what he can do. इस बार ऐसा ऐसा लग रहा है कि ये लोग बी हिट करना चाहते हैं क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली ये लोग जितनी बारी ए पे जा चुके हैं कि अभी बहुत मुश्किल है ये प्रिडिक्ट करना कि ये लोग वापस से ए पे आएंगे या फिर बी पे बट अगेन डिफेंडर्स ने गैम्बल लिया था ए पे हैवी स्टैक करके एंड इट फेल्ड बिकॉज स्किल ज्वाइन है तो अब तक दे ही दी होगी लोकेशन एंड ओडासिटी इज प्लेइंग आउट विथ हिज ब्लेड स्टॉम लेट्स सी इफ यू कैन डू एनी थिंग विद्रेसिव पुशेज एंड येस ही विल डू इट ही विल डू इट Killjoy gets down and the lockdown has been destroyed. Goat B, Goat B spot out ho chuke hai mid side pe and yeah. again. Kakashi is just coming up huge on the mid side. Taking up two. Both of the duelists and... And Audacity, what a what is this Audacity? Audacity with the 4k. Switching sides. And Audacity just came up huge this round. And... Now I'll be handing over the casting mic towards my dear friend Opahar and he will do the casting from now. Here. 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 Nineteen century. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for tuning into Zest 2022 Valorant Cup. This here. is me, UT, and I'm so honored to be here casting amongst you. And a really, really great match coming in from both of these teams. I mean, they, they are playing phenomenally. And look at that. The first kill already coming in from Kakashi, taking 10 slide already down, and the bomb has already been planted. Wasting no time at all. Reyna taking down OG lock equally things out 4v4 situation and make it a 4v3 ladies and gentlemen and right now look at that the attackers have now started to dominate and team X still have hope and look at that audacity with a quoted shot right on court over there seems pretty interesting third kick coming in from Reyna and right now the diffuse attempt coming in had no choice and Probably a ba very bad decision. You still had a 2v2 situation. You could have instead focused on uh, actually taking the fight instead of defusing while covering it. On some hand is a good option, but uh, to be honest, really, it wasn't a bad situation. And 10 to 3. And that's a pretty one-sided scoreline. That I've seen personally in a tournament format like this. I expected a little bit more fight from the other team as well. But regardless, uh, it is what it is. Look at that. The perfect Viper smoke bomb coming in. And right now, it could play a very crucial role. Kakashi knows a lot of people are just walking right up to them.
And right now, Team Scintillate are actually proving to be the upper hand of this entire round, this entire map of reason. Right now, the rotation have come in. A side has been taken over by Team X. A brilliant execution coming in. Is this where they will turn the tables around, or is this where Team Sentinels will once again prove their dominance? And OG Lock goes down. Carnifex, the player he is, is putting down amazing, amazing damage. And look at that. Team play coming in, gameplay coming in. This is what we were looking forward to. This is what we were like, actually waiting for a really long time. And Audacity knows he only has to wait and wait a little bit more time. But Munna Tripathi rushing right him and 10 slide also taking Sang down. That means a flawless, flawless round coming in. 10 to 4. And right now, Team X want this map. Team X want to take this in their favor. They don't want to lose this out. But what will be more important is that how will they proceed to do uh, the site execution from now on? Because right now the buys from both the teams are pretty light. Uh, it's not that only one team uh, is focused upon getting uh, those skills, but it is more crucial on how they will actually execute and enter the site. Because right now with those arsenal, your only point of action is to play four plant. And look at that, Kakashi will try to rush in, but is walking into a death trap. Munna Tripathi rushing him and will just RNG him to his death. That was nasty, but it is what it is. 10 to the 4, ladies and gentlemen. 1 minute and 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Kandifex once again is trying to go aggressive. Has spotted one, will put down the blind and Sang getting 10 slide with the Aries. That means the entry has been taken, equaling things out once again. Of course, the attackers will have the favor in this situation and right now the plant will also go in. And right now, rotations will need to come in as soon as it could because look at that. The retakes is already in uh, position. Audacity is wasting no time and Ochi Lock once again goes down by a code. Audacity has a big, big responsibility to play right now and a perfect post plant. Uh, plant has been given out as we were talking, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, probably a good prediction right there, but... Right here, Audacity is taking matters into his hand and Sank and Audacity, this duo, so insane, this duo, brilliant execution coming in, 10 to the 4, ladies and gentlemen, make it a 10 to the, uh, 11 to the 4, ladies and gentlemen, pardon me, but, uh, I think it's already way, way too close to the end now, because right now, the economy of Team X is going to be further broke, um, probably they won't have anything in their hands and uh, from now on if team sentinels is able to continue to dominate then things will get 10 times harder for them 11 to 4 they need to still catch up to approx 7 rounds after catching up to 7 rounds they will uh, probably come nearby to them and it might just actually end up in an overtime and look at that right now team x is hungry they just want to rush in but that smoke from Viper is at a perfect place. Will deny that rush because Viper knows if, if anybody is rushing through that, he will get the advantage and he will get that kid and look at that. Entire Team X is taking as slow as they could because they know they want that pick. Without that pick, they won't be entered into side and audacity. Getting perfect, perfect, brilliant shot towards Carnifex. Carnifex, the soul, the importance. The MVP player of Team X has been eliminated and Munna Tripathi goes down. That means the hopes have also been taken down 11 to 4. And right now the situation is 5v3. And that absolutely sounds terrible, feels terrible for Team X because this is where Team X had to put in all their efforts. And right now making things work. Sank and Audacity will take one down each and a good. What a beautiful headshot coming left. in, taking down OG Lock and getting another round in their hand. And look at that. Audacity will take down Goat and will wrap Match it up, point. making it a 12 to 4 situation, ladies and gentlemen. 12 to 4. And this is where it might just end because Team X once again isn't looking good at all. Team X has that skill. It's not that Team X is being outplayed or outskilled right now. TMX has the skill that they need, but look at that. Audacity with 25 kills in his hand. Kakashi with 18. Right now, Team Sentinels is just 
popping off. Standing ahead. Pardon me, uh, the team name is Saint Alex and Audacity will get the NT frag yet again on Munna Tripathi. Munna Tripathi goes down and that means once again uh, the entire manpower of Team X has been taken away and Sank will also make things harder. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to a close of a first round of Zest Valorant Cup 2022 and it looks like our first match is going to be over pretty much soon because Careful. team scintillates are just way too good right now giving zero opportunities to team x team x trying Stand pretty down. hard but will not be able to fight back shaze pulls down missed. goat although down, takes missed. one but is not able to do a lot the only one surviving and look at that goat will be taken away and team scintillate will be the winner of our first match of Zest Valorant Cup 2022 and I am so happy and I am so proud of this team they have played flawlessly they have made no mistakes they played like a champion they fought like a champion and I really don't think I can expect anything more out of them the executions were brilliant the entire field the entire uh, activity the entire style that they played with and the aggression that they put in is commendable beautiful and flawless team x on the other hand didn't show that much of a team play but individually goat and carnifex hello, hello. did as much as they could they hello. did put everything Thank that they know. had up there uh, nice. so no, all the best to you guys bye bye with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. And we will now be transferring over to our beautiful, beautiful host, Anandita, in a second. And we'll see you in the next match pretty soon. What a match! What a match indeed! It was amazing to see gameplay from both the teams and I applaud Scintillates but I do believe the Team X tried very hard and they did their best and I'm proud of them too. And uh, now we're going to see you in the next match shortly. Until then, take care and stay tuned.
I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us.
And we're back again on to the second match of this wonderful tournament. Now we've got our teams joined with us. The Order and Pharaohs about to enter into an epic battle in the map of Ascent. The map that does complete justice to the beauty of Venice, Italy. With a wide open space down mid and a game changing feature of those sliding destructible doors that can cut off rotations, this map is truly a treat to conquer. Let's watch and find out which team will get this map in their bag. All right then, we have our teams here with us and logged in. In team order, we have Phoenix, Sage, Killjoy, Sova and Neon. And in team Pharaohs, we have Tuna Mayo, Ravan, Sayonara, Price and Pizza. We have next up, Upar as the caster for this match. So take the stage, Upar. <laughs> My God, can you? Big money. Big money. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are now live with our second map for the day. That will be the map of ascent between Team Faroes and the Order. The Order, uh, I've heard about them before and they are an excellent team. So, pretty much looking forward to how they're going to play this time. But on the other hand, we have Faroes. So, let's see how they will actually play out. Zero to zero, eight seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Zest Valor Cup 2022, hosted by Sharda University in association with MSC, powered by a few people sponsors, Luxury Digital and Keyword Studio. They all have our back in this amazing sponsorship. And right now, without wasting any more time, the attackers have already gone in sight. 80 matches both by Shia to the first one to go down with this map, Sayonara. Tells him right in the face, Sayonara man, is for a go right into the waiting lobby. Ravan also joins him. Uh, makes uh, Boston Clarity join him. So, Cat and uh, right now the fights are coming in back and forth. Five words be making things 20 times harder for the defenders to retake the side. The flash will go in, but look at that. Counter flash is coming in from him, and the will be taken down. Sayonara will take another one, making things absolutely terrible. And One enemy also take down Sian and that is the order I'm looking really good. The last pair is alive. And he will also be taken down, probably attempting a knife if I'm not wrong. Uh, but Variable 
We'll start getting two good CD right there. We'll be taken down and tries to finish KK off that. First point will go into the favor of the or so the second round is in fact uh probably in the order we'll try to move by SMTS absolute perspective are in their hands and they will drop that spectre they will utilize it as soon as they can but the other time it is recommended that Today, one, two, zero, and the bar. We want to be go down. That means they have to retake it once again. The flashbang will go in. Also, also, the other will be taken down absolutely, giving no chance at all. Right now, Charlotte will be planted as for the defense, but the way of the Tuna will be just take down everyone that's going to be so strong there. Back and forth fights are coming in. The bulldog is still in the favor of the defenders. The defenders might have a little bit of an advantage. The board is moved to the way of the exit down. The last player alive. Getting a third one, but will have no other option. Other than to back off right now. He will also lose his weapon, which is absolutely terrible for him. 2 0 on the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen, and the order are leading. And that uh, is not a good sign. For Team Taros for now, but they got this. Now the buys will officially come. I don't think the army will be in the favor of Team Taros. Proper right to fight, a proper well fight, a proper little fight will come in from now. And we'll have to see how that will actually play out. That the B side is already beat. Look at that. Time out of the damage to that nano storm. The nano storm being down, but the nano may also join you to fight. The B side has been completely taken away. And it will be a little problematic for the Infaros to take. We take this side, but CRN already making there. things a little bit there. easier for this team. 4 to 4, let's see if the defender can pull this off. Everything is ready, the time is still blocking this off. The clock's 30 seconds left to take it up. Beautiful flash of vision, but Luna may have knew where to put his cross here. He will take out Shadow Master coming in, but he will win every single shot on Sayonara. Put the flag, he also getting one, but he will also take it down. That means the attackers yet again will win uh, this round. They can get a 3 to 0. And that will now cause a problem for the Baros because they have zero economy in their hand and right now their motivation, their uh, strong students will also be lowered, causing them more problems. That is something we uh, don't want to see from any team. We want the teams to be very confident to play with every single home and not give up. And they're very awesome, and not even at the past. Really expect them to just go on. That is what happens now. On, they're going to really take it away. No thoughts coming in, but they know that some people are here. And look at that, already backing off from the heaven. They know that they need the entire team ready to take. Reading the side, look at that. Sandra will just go right in. He won't be able to put his thoughts in the right place, and he will be punished for that. A few coming in, but that. That is actually quite crucial for it. 3 to 0. They still need to put up a score in the board. They still have the advantage 5 to 4. But the bomb has been planted and the side has been taken. So the advantage still relies with the attackers. They need the order right now. He's holding a very crucial angle. He knows that everybody will be forming. And he's a very strong for the angle. He's going to be taken down. But good refracts coming in. And right now, look at the score. He's actually taking things in his own market. And the third one, and right now, the attackers 
using momentum by the only one pretty down one of the plant is being diffused is, is it gonna be diffused or is it gonna blow and it is gonna blow blows round coming in one second prior and this would have gone the other day but guys did his work no he knew that he had to be a matter of seconds and that gave him a score in his favor the favor of his team and once again making things harder for the Paros they will have a partial buy they will be going in inspectors they will try to force this out because they desperately want to buy the momentum that momentum can be stronger for the support the Lord Defenders are being flicked away slowly and CRL panics, fits himself last as well. But so that actually is a great day, guys. Down to that. KJ and CRL, the only one alive, still have hopes. A beautiful slash coming in. But look at that Raman with the dominating RPG takes down one. Billy right. does not he misses those shots and a beautiful attempt coming in from KJ. But the time wasn't in his face at all. 6 to 0 ladies and gentlemen. Uh it's pretty disappointing. It's pretty sad to see. To see the Paros uh, not able to contain themselves 
not able to actually play together as a team and not at all able to play with a single model. So that is absolutely important because in theory, see that they are putting a lot of efforts, but uh, unfortunately, that was not the most happening in 0 this is going to be absolutely a big, big problem for both of these right here. Tomeo, once again, we take that into track. Short has been contested. The entire team is coming to short, and Neon, he is looked to a short. Neon is not even paying a little bit of the attention, and he will take it down to the side. He also joins him. And right only two defenders, once again, left before the round can even actually properly start. They have taken. This map almost away because they're going to keep this up, but CRL, the only form of the team, I'm going to be breaking really it down. Shadow Master getting good, Shadow Master getting good, but not the third. I'm still the third, hungry. The team is not able to put down a lot of effort together. Individually, CRL is able to perform really well along with Shadow, but it's not the team stars. I'm not able to catch up with them, causing them. A lot of problems causing the team to fall apart. That's that's the team. Third thing I'm waiting for. Seven to zero months of waiting for them. The team domination coming in. One is coming Don't hold back. I hope things will change up a little bit. Maybe hope. Right now, party players for team battle players too. Current division. And Kato is right here, has put down his ultimate, that means no more utility will be taken down, no more utility will be provided for either of the teams. We have to see how this retain will be done. The flash one will go. But the more important question here is that what's the point of the fast time because right now the defenders are being literally deleted and look at that, more hooks coming in case they will take down only right head but they will be slot back with two back to back heels and once again the attackers will take this one in the favor as well. Now the problem here uh, is that, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, as we can see clearly, as we can clearly, the Taros are not able to put even a single point of this logo. But that's not the only problem that they have here. The problem here is that after a couple of rounds, there will be a side change. After the side change, the order will be defending. And Ascend, being the map it is, it is a defending sided map. If they are not able to pull off even one single round, while Defending, I highly doubt that they will be able to do so while attacking. But nevertheless, let's not lose hope Let right now. Begin. The B side is being completely dominated. Ravan taking that entry kill on Shreyas. That means B has been given away to Team The Order. And Ravan, instead of going to the side, is going for more kills. And he almost got that one. And he will be reloading at the worst moment of his life. Sayonara. We'll be taking Shadow Master down, I but planted. KJ, the only one alive, uh, along with CRN, will try to put some differences, but they both will be taken down, both were expected, and right now, the order who had, let's assume, 40% of the confidence, that is now forced up to 140 at least, because their confidence is being reflected at their gameplay. They're not focusing on sites anymore, they're just probably doing it for the money, for the scores, but... Uh, if we talk about their game, they, they are looking to finish this game as fast as they can. 9 to 0, ladies and gentlemen. Four more rounds, and this map will be concluded as well. And I had high expectations from this particular uh, map, this particular team, but right now it is more overlooking, pretty one sided. I had I hadn't expected this much uh, skill being put up from the order, but they are playing phenomenally. And Ravan once again taking that entry frag. And CRN 
will be denied from using any of his flashes. His heart will be taken down. His body will be hunted. And CRN absolutely helped as he had no support from his team. And while using your heart, while I'm using blinded. the run it back, you are absolutely left paralyzed. You cannot do anything if you don't have the support of a team. And talking about a team, Shayans trying to go super aggressive here. The cross up placement is off the map. And he will be punished accordingly for that. And Shadow Master looks frustrated, feels frustrated, but will take pizza perfectly right here. Will he try to take and save the off? He will not. He will try to put down more damage because he knows that saving a weapon might not be the best point of action here. He will instead be fighting until the last. He has spotted one right up there. Tomeo has been spotted. Tomeo will be changing his position and the off will be acquired for the saving for the next round because this ma round has also been taken away by team the autumn and a good entry frag exit kill coming in from Ravan and hence uh, the hop which was supposed to be saved from team Paros has been taken away as well 0 to 10 ladies and gentlemen and once again going pretty much well sided but this time Ravan has uh, an operator in his hand that has been handed over to KJ and let's see if we can see some good shots coming in from the operator because I personally believe operator is a very mystery weapon either it can help you lose a round or it can help you win round the rounds so we'll have to see what that will do for team order because it has till now come out pretty well and right of both the KJ also have been put in at the very same position and the entry frag once again coming in from Ravan, taking responsibility. And right now, one player will be detained, and two players will be detained on the attacker and defender, respectively. That means the entire defender side is jumping in. They want to find that detained player, but a detained player has recovered. See, Arun, once again, flashing at the very first time he can. Ravan will be taken down, but Sayonara will come back. But look at that, KJ getting another one. And as we were talking, the operator I actually helping them lose the round. Was almost doing that, but nevertheless, Rise is still here to save the day. 3 to 1, ladies and gentlemen. We still have expectation because AJ is a really good player. Yes, one was almost able to connect on the second one as well. But talking about the HP advantage, he did not have any HP at all to fight back. 11 to 0, and we are already at last round before the switch. And an entire half coming in with zero points given to the enemy team. Zero mistakes made, zero errors made, and zero blunders made from team the order. And we do hope that they are able to carry forward this momentum. And we do hope that they are able to carry forward this momentum well. But right now, it will be rather more important to see how they will actually play this out right now. Because this will be the last one and Ravan will be taken down. The entry power has been taken away as the entry kill he has been denied that hunger. And this has started out great for Team Tataros and we'll, have, we'll just have to wait and see how will that continue to be. Because right now, Rai will take one, Sayonara will take one and immediately... Dismiss himself, but CRN is ready. CRN will take down Sayonara right there. But still, the fight isn't over. A revive coming in, making a 3v3. An unfair, but no, 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 the revive will be denied. Rise is at a very cheeky angle. And the clock is ticking away as fast as it can. Three players are there, and two players are saving in the last round for God knows what reason. And Pizza just trying to knife them off because they know what's the point of Switching saving sides. yourself. It's round itself. <laughs> 12 to 0, ladies and gentlemen. And never in my dreams I expected a tournament format like that with stakes so high and a prize pool of 1 lakh INR. Hosted by a, such a prime university in association with MBSC. Such a big name, such a big title, such a big brand, but the players not able to put up 
even one single respectable round there. 12 to 0, ladies and gentlemen. Last round coming in. Uh, probably, we. I mean, I am still confident that the Paros will not make this a 13 0. I truly hope and I truly pray this does not turn out as a 13 0. But. We'll just have to wait and see because right now CRN has been put down to 400 HP. That boom bot could have killed him, but CRN will be taken down. And that means the problem here is that our attackers are already getting deleted. A good trade coming in, making it a 4v3. The grenade will go down, but at what or 3v2? And Sayonara taking matters into his own hands might just get into trouble but no but look at that shadow master coming in with that beautiful right click 2v1 situation and the plant has gone down once again DJ from team paro playing phenomenally well if he had a little bit support from his team i mean definitely this would have been way better than what we are looking at right now but as a team the pharaohs are absolutely falling apart and as a team, they could have done a lot better, but still, folks are high to be one situation as a KJ. Could be possible. Pizza coming in. Pizza, please check your corner. Right click whiffing by both the teams. Both the teams are going to fall back into load. Half the fuse coming in. One kill coming in. 92 HP. Force point coming in. In the favor of Team Paros. The 13 0 curse has been avoided. I prayed for it, you know, prayers have come true. 100% credits to our amazing, amazing KJ player coming in right here. Beautiful read right there, rotated toward the other side, planted the spike, data QB1 whipped a lot. We will not disagree that they are going more whips, but still fighting back against two players. Very respectable. Well to one ladies and gentlemen, but still, if you are talking about the fight, it's a long, long fight. Look at that, Yoni is not stopping, he is not stopping and he just goes into the side, gets a kill. And that is the Neon we were eagerly waiting for. This is the Neon we wanted all along. And right now, the attackers popping off, not giving even a single opportunity to defend us to fight back. And probably a flawless round could have just come in, but I think I just jinxed it for them. Pizza will take down Postman Clarity and Pizza will be forced to back off. He is being thrown at every single utility that he has ever seen in his life. And right now, the short wall will be broken. He wants those ex exit tracks because he knows that now they have to take off. And right now, Ting coming in, but not enough to make it a confirmed kill. And right now, Team Pharaohs once again get her out in the favor while attacking. So my worry about them winning a single round while attacking has been completely thrown off because while attacking they have won two rounds back to back and I am pretty proud of them. Huh? 12 to 2 ladies and gentlemen you're watching this Valorant Cup 2020 this is me UT and ah we're watching the match of team Paros versus the order But the problem here is that Ravan will be taking that entry trial along with Tuna Mayo and Rice. Waiting for that backstab. A complete sweep coming in from these teams. Last day, you can like the W key. He's playing all of beauty. This is not valid anymore. At that, ladies and gentlemen, has wrapped up the entire game. And we are absolutely proud. We are absolutely honored to see them play like this. This is the kind of input that we were desperately waiting uh, from them but unfortunately the order was constantly uh, pretty focused the entire time they were not giving any single chance to any of the teams and that is where the entire defense was made
And right now, talking about a few matches that happened right in the start, we could see Team Faros was suffering right from the start, and we could clearly see that they needed to do something about how they played, about how they were actually uh, putting down their skills, how they were actually putting down those sounds. But the entire problem was created. But the entire problem was created in synergy that we had the possibility to put down together. Together as a team, they have got a score of 13 to 2, qualifying themselves for the qualifiers trade itself. Uh, Day to knockout. I am sorry. It will be knocking the day to knockout. And the Faros, GG's to them. Uh, they have played a phenomenal game. But right now, we will be taking it back to our host, Anandita. And onwards to Anandita. Amen. Okay. Yeah? What a performance by Team Order. Almost at the 0 13, but Carlos did almost come back as well. Team Order went into the went into the match, ordered their victory, and they got it. We are so proud and we are so thrilled to watch this and cannot wait for the next match. We'll get back with to you with the next match shortly. Till then, stay tuned.
I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Clouds jumping and I hear my name Grasping it to a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. Have just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young. For the animals we stand. Let's go back to when trees were swung. Kids across the Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too match of this wonderful tournament.
and wow we have ascend yet again and this time we have the teams wave esports and uh, and uh, bad mofi with us and once again in ascend i'm so glad to because i really really love this ma map and i'm really glad to see another match in this map and we are going to watch this map uh, so now we have reina jet sova and omen on one side and only reina selected on the other end let's see what they lock in okay now we have kushal as the caster i request him to take over now Here, I am Akuma. I'll Select be your, your caster agent. for this match. And we can see that it's a very interesting pick. Hai. Ascent pay. Defender side ne liya hai. Reina, Sage, Jet, Omen, or Sova. Very balanced. One controller, one initiator, two duelists. So we can see that they want to the attacking side. And the second opponent has also got it. But the difference is that the Sentinel Sage is the Killjoy है और उनकी initiator Sky है तो definitely हमें ज़्यादा flashes देखने को मिल रहा है attacker side से but again it's too early to judge बहुत ही बेहतरीन शॉट देखने को मिला हमें जेट से वन टैप कर दिया गया है और अभी मिड की साइड जा रहे हैं हमें देखा जा रहा है कि शॉट की तरफ एग्रेशन दिखा रहे हैं जेट और स्काई स्काई ने डॉग किया है ताकि एंगल्स क्लियर कर पाए देखा जा रहा है सारे एंगल्स क्लियर है उन्हें पता लग गया है कि ए साइड पे एंट्री मिल गई है ओमेन आ चुके हैं एक डिफेंडर स्मोक के अंदर करके स्मोक विनर बन गया है जेट 2v2 के गेम प्ले देखने को मिल रहा है हमें यहां पे सोवा ने एक अच्छा शॉट का लाइनअप किया है थोड़ा सा डैमेज मिला है ज्यादा नहीं मिलेगा रेना ने उसे मार के हील कर लिया है ओमेन एंड सेज आर द ओनली वन लेफ्ट ट्राइंग टू रीटेक द साइट एंड वन एनिमी रिमेनिंग टू इन गुड स्टाइल यहाँ पे हम सेकेंड राउंड देखेंगे स्टार्ट होता हुआ अटैकर्स ने वन मिल की लीड ले ली है और वही थ्री टू थ्री टू चले जा रहा है ड्रॉप करेंगे स्काई थ्री पे और वापस कर दिया गया है रनन गन की दिख रही है शुरुआत स्टेज में वॉल करी डिफेंस साइड से अटैकर्स को रोकने के लिए जेड बहुत ही अग्रेसिव जा रही है स्पेक्टर के साथ कोशिश कर रहे हैं एक अर्ली एडवांटेज देने की बैक साइड पर पहुँच चुकी है रेना ने डोर बंद कर दिया है पूरे सारे चोक पॉइंट को कट ऑफ कर दिया गया है डिफेंडर्स के लिए उन्हें साइड पे एंट्री नहीं मिल रही बहुत ही प्यारा शॉट रेना की तरफ से और लीड ले चुके बहुत ही प्यारा शॉट जेट की तरफ से उन्हें वापस जवाब देते हुए 
और ओमेन आ चुके हैं सपोर्ट देने के लिए बहुत ही सुंदर गेम प्ले में देखने को मिल रहा है और बहुत ही फास्ट पेस गेम प्ले देखने को मिल रहा है समझ नहीं आ पा रहा है क्या चल रहा है पर नेवर लेस बहुत अच्छी गेम चल रही है टू नील की लीड लेते हुए अटैकर्स अपना एम फ्लॉन्ट कर रहे हैं डिफेंडर्स के सामने दिखा रहे हैं कि हम घुस के मार सकते हैं डिफेंडर्स को थोड़े अपने टैक्टिक्स चेंज करने पड़ेंगे ताकि वो आउट प्ले कर सके अटैकर्स को टू नील अब हम दे सकते हैं थोड़ा सा बहुत ही वियर्ड बाय आता हुआ डिफेंडर के साथ देना ने ली है एक बैंडल हाफ शील्ड के साथ पूरी टीम हाफ शील्ड के साथ है फुल शील्ड नहीं है किसी के भी पास और आधे जनों का हाफ बाय है और आधे जनों ने बहुत ही अलग बाय कर रखा है तो मुझे लगता है ये चलेगा जेक ओनली अदर हैंड एक जज के साथ जो मैंने देखा है देना के पास प्राइम बैंडल वेरी गुड स्किन रियली नाइस स्किन मस्ट कॉप ए शॉट पे अपनी प्रेजेंस हेवी प्रेजेंस दिखाते हुए थोड़े से लो मिड पे दी है टैग रिवर वैंडल के साथ हम देख सकते हैं किल जॉय को और ओनली फैंडल के साथ देख सकते हैं मिड पे मैन डाउन और एस लेने की ट्राई कर ली थी और ओमेन में चुरा लिया गया है बट इस स्टेज पे एस से ज्यादा विन मैटर करती है और यहाँ पे डिफेंडर्स को पहली राउंड मिल चुका है उनका पहला राउंड उनके खाते में आ चुका है सब सेज की बदौलत सारी हैवी लिफ्टिंग करी है सेज ने बट टीम को भी डिसक्रेडिट नहीं कर सकते उन्होंने हेल्प किया सेज को उस पोजिशन में आने के लिए स्किल्स ले सके एरस देखने को मिल और अब हम देख सकते हैं बहुत ही अलग भाई यूजुअली हम देखते हैं जेट के साथ ऑफ ली जाती है ताकि वो एडवांटेज मिल सके डैश का पर यहाँ पे स्काई ने ऑफ को उठाया गया है आयन ऑफ अगेन वेरी गुड चॉइस और जेट मुझे लगता है अपने ब्लेड स्टॉम पे खेले एंड विफ करते हुए सेज अपना बहुत ही बढ़िया एम दिखाते हुए वन सेकेंड सेज के पास रिवाइव है तो अगेन ये अभी सिक्स फाइव पॉसिबल है उनके पास एक रिवाइव अवेलेबल है अपने आप को रीड करते हुए क्योंकि हमें नॉट डन नेसेसरी क्योंकि एटी फाइव था और उन्होंने ये पीक दे के बहुत ही गलत किया क्योंकि अब उनकी टीम डिसएडवांटेज में जस्ट बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव अ हीलर रेना ने ऑफ को बहुत ही क्लेवर वापस दी और मैप के बाद फेंक दिया गया ताकि कोई उसे रिट्रीट ना कर पाए वूमेन ऑन दी अदर हैंड साइड में घुसे हुए हैं ब्रेक तो मिस करे गए हैं तो चांसेस और कम है और मारे भी जाएंगे बट अगेन यू हैव टू टेक योर चांसेस और ओमेन बहुत ही अच्छा स्मोक डाल के उससे पुश करे जा रहे हैं सोवा अकेले ओमेन के साथ ओमेन आ रहे हैं डिफेंडर साइड सोवा ने रिवील करा है ओमेन को थोड़ी सी और नॉलेज हो सीटी में हेवी प्रेजेंस शो करी है और मिस करनी हुई शॉट बट हेवी डैमेज नेवर द लेस दिया है बहुत ही ट्रांसफर दो बंदों के लिए बहुत ही अच्छे रहे अब टेंथ बचे हैं और भी कुछ सिचुएशन में और वो नहीं कर पाएंगे इट्स टू मच टू आस पर बहुत ही अच्छा राउंड अटैकर साइड हो गए इनके साथ स्मोक के अंदर बहुत अच्छा खेले उनके जेट को पिक ऑफ किया जो कि हमें पता है जेट बहुत ही डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर हो सकता है मैच में मैचेस 
वन फोर का स्कोर लाइन मुश्किल हो सकती है स्विच में क्योंकि ये हमें पता है असेंट है डिफेंडर साइडेड मैप तो आप चाहते हैं आप जब डिफेंडिंग साइड पे हो तो मैक्सिमम स्कोर पुट करना चाहते हैं हम रोड पे डेबिल हम देखेंगे रेट्स कम अवेलेबल है अर्ली पीक लेंगे बिना फ्लैश के बिना किसी हेल्प आई गोट योर ट्राई पीक ली गई है और उनको सपोर्ट करेंगे देना अग्रेसिव जाते हुए और हम वहां पे देख रहे हैं स्काई मिड को कंट्रोल लेते हुए पे दूसरे पर वहां पे रेना अवेलेबल है तीन जने ही पे तैनात कर रहे और स्काई ओवर पीक करते हुए रेना के जाल में फंस जाएंगी ओमेन धीमे धीमे जाते पर मुझे लगता है कि तो कोई और जेट ने जैसा मैंने कहा जेट डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर हो सकता है उन्होंने पिक ऑफ कर लिया अच्छा गेम प्ले देखने को मिल रहा है स्ट्रेटेजिक गेम प्ले देखने को मिल रहा है दोनों साइड से थोड़ा सा ओवर पीक और ओवर एग्रेशन है कभी कभी ट्राई पीक्स मिल रही है तभी थोड़े रकस ट्रैक्स आ रहे हैं बट इट्स ऑल राइट होम इंस्पेक्टेड करते हुए अपने और जेट ने अब ड्राफ्ट किया है एक अर्ली पिक लेने की कोशिश एग्रेसिव ज्यादा अपना अल्टी लगा दिया तरफ से बहुत ही सुंदर मुझे बताया टेबल को है कि आ सकता है और उन्हें पता लग चुका है वो तैनात रहेंगे बैकस्टैप में बहुत ही प्यारा डार्क सोल नहीं वो किल होनी चाहिए थी अब सारा है रेना के हाथ में रियली हार्ड ऑलरेडी डिंक पड़ चुकी थी पहले ही सेकंड पीक देते ही डिंक पड़ चुकी थी एम शिफ्ट हो गया वहां पे मुझे लगता है डार्क सोल ने बहुत गलत विफ कर दिया चीज़ बट एवरीवन मेक्स मिस्टेक्स कोई बात नहीं लोग गलतियों से सीखते हैं बहुत ही वन साइडेड मैच तो मैं नहीं कहूंगा बट बहुत ही क्लोज मैच क्लोज मैच अब और हम देख सकते हैं ऑफ निकल चुकी है डिफेंडर साइडेड मैच से डिफेंडर साइड से जेट ने ऑफ निकाल लिए तो मैं देखता हूँ शायद तो क्वालिटी पीक देखिए अग्रेसिव पीक दी है मिड पे हाई मिड का अग्रेसिव पीक की कोशिश करेंगे ट्राई करेंगे वो बट कर चुकी है तो रेना ने एक और मोड पे डाल दिया और उनको करा जाएगा ट्रेड तो बहुत अर्ली अग्रेशन दिखा दिया सेज ने ये गलत किया क्योंकि सेज एक सेंटिनल लेवल में पीछे रह के खेलना चाहिए तो बेटर रहता बट अगेन इट्स एन इवेंट्स को थ्री बहुत ही सुंदर खेल जेट का काम एंड कंपोज उनके पास स्पाइक ड्रॉप हो चुका है तो उन्हें पूरी नॉलेज है कि कहां से आ सकते हैं बस उन्हें चोक पॉइंट्स को बंद करना पड़ेगा स्काई की नॉलेज थोड़ी देर पहले आई थी हाई मेड से तो उन्हें रियलाइज होगा ऑन दी अदर हैंड नहीं दिखे हैं उन्हें तो ओमेन एक डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर हो सकता है अटैक के और पिक ऑफ कर लिया गया है स्काई को भी बी मेन से ओमेन रहते हैं आई थिंक ओमेन इज ए एफ के क्योंकि ओमेन मूव नहीं करे शायद से डिस्कनेक्ट हो चुके हैं और तैनात तीनों के तीनों प्लेयर सारे थर्टी सेकेंड लेफ्ट कॉन्स्टेंटली मूव कर रहे हैं बिकॉज यू नेवर नो वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट पोजिशन जेट बहुत ज्यादा मूवमेंट दिखा रही है क्योंकि उन्हें पता है उन्हें अपनी किट पे भरोसा है बहुत ही मोबिलिटी है उनकी किट में तो वो किसी भी डायर सिचुएशन से बच सकती है टेन सेकेंड लेट अगेन इट्स अ थ्री फाइव ओमेन ए एफ के एंड येस ही हैज रिकनेक्टेड नाउर आर सम इश्यूज 
side of the game. 3-5 scoreline, very even matchup. Still, it's anyone's game. Here. Oh, calm. I per oh, abhi tak apne full form mein nahi dikhi hai. Kisi ek peak mein dikhi hai. Unhone achhe se mara. Par humein dekhna kya unke haath mein, unke wrist mein wo flicks available hai. Kya unlocked hai wo skill set. Odyssey, Lucifer ke paas. Ki wo me kuch flashy kills dikha sake op se. Or B main pe aggressive peak. Jet jet and the better jet wins. Bahut hi pyara. Spike down B. और उन्होंने एक और स्पॉट किया बैरल को देखा रिट्रीट करने की कोशिश करी थी और मारा गया है बहुत अच्छा एग्रेशन इस शॉट से मिड पे पिकअप किया है उन्हें पता है एक और प्लेयर का नाम है वहां पे हिंदू ने देखा बट अगेन 55 एचपी बहुत ज्यादा ओवर पी अगेन बहुत ही सुंदर बहुत ही सुंदर काम बहुत ही खोई हुई लग रही थी ऐसा लग रहा था कि जेट के पिक ऑफ होते ही ब्लैंक चली गई अटैक इट्स लाइक जेट क्वीन थी उनकी गेम की उसके हाथ से उनके हाथ से गेम फिसल गई पूरा राउंड फिसल गया बिकॉज हमने देखा है बाकी सिचुएशन में जेट जिंदा थी तो उन्होंने राउंड कन्वर्ट किया डिफेंडर साइड से चार अल्टीमेट्स अवेलेबल फोर फाइव का स्कोर लाइन डैश करके जीतने की कोशिश करेंगे नहीं कर पाए सेकेंड वन डी मारी गई है और साथ साथ में ट्रेड भी लिया है हमारी डिफेंसिव जेट ने एक शॉट मार के ओमेन अगेन एफ के एक बंदा मिड पे तैनात है एक बी मेन पे और मिड को निकाला जाएगा बी मेन लास्ट प्लेयर स्टैंडिंग रेज नॉ के लास्ट आउट की तरह अगेन फोर बी वन बहुत टू मेनी एंगल्स टू चेक हर जगह से आ सकते हैं वेटिंग गेम है इन्हें बस अपनी वेपन सेव करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज आप देख सकते हैं कि हाफ शील्ड बहुत ही अच्छा था लूसिफर ने बहुत ही अनकैरेक्टर देखा बहुत अच्छे बहुत ही प्यारा शॉट मारा है डार्क सोल ने थर्टी सेकेंड कवर का कवर लेते हुए डार्क कवर का कवर लेते हुए डार्क सोल ने बहुत ही प्यारा पिक निकाला है अब बैक साइड चेक करेंगे डार्क सोल और बाकी प्लेयर तैनात है साइड पे बट उन्हें मुझे लगता नहीं है आइडिया है कि ओमेन जा चुके हैं दोबारा से और ये ओमेन एक हिंडरेंस बन रहे हैं टीम के लिए क्योंकि हमने देखा था अर्ली स्टेज अर्ली राउंड पे ओमेन ही थे डिफरेंस में बहुत सारे इम्पैक्ट फ्रैक्स निकाल देते थे दोस्त एक टाइम आउट लेते हुए अटैकर्स क्योंकि मुझे लगता है नेट इश्यूज आ रहे हैं अटैकिंग साइड से जैसा हमने देखा ओमेन बीच बीच में एफ के जा रहे हैं अटैकर्स का टाइम आउट एंड होते हुए होपफुली उन्होंने कुछ टैक्टिक्स बनाई इस 
जीरो वन और राउंड स्टार्ट आता होगा फाइव 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 का स्कोर लाइन अल्टीमेट यूज कर लिया अर्ली अल्टीमेट स्का की ताकि राउंड में बहुत ही अग्रेसिव राउंड निकाला है जेट ने डैश करा है सोवा को ऑफ गार्ड पकड़ा सोवा को कोई आइडिया नहीं कोई बैलेट जेट ने एक ट्रेड ले आओ बहुत ही मुश्किल शॉट था वो मारना क्योंकि उन्होंने स्मोक में थे क्लोज रेंज ऑपरेटर हम सबको पता है कितनी हार्ड है अगेन ओमेन देखिए अटैकर साइड मैंने कहा था एस के से बाहर आए डिफरेंस मेकर वो ही है इस मैच के अटैकिंग साइड के मुझे लगता है आईजीएल है ओमेन करेक्ट नहीं इस आंदोलन और ओमेन बहुत ही प्यारा किल लेते हुए रेना तैनात है साइड पे विप करेंगे दोनों साइड से शॉट रेना निकालेंगी क्लासिक की बर्स्ट से और एम इन टू उन्हें है पर एम नहीं है वहां पे बहुत ही अच्छा ट्राई मुझे लगता है बॉडी शॉट्स मारे हैं तीन 125 था उनके पास हाफ शील्ड ली थी और सिर्फ 120 का टैग दे पाए फाइव एच पी पे टेररिस्ट yeah. ले लेते हैं बड़क सिक्स फाइव से इस मैच में बट अगेन बहुत ही क्लोज मैचअप है इट्स टू अर्ली टू जज एट दिस स्टेज दोनों जेट्स अपना इम्पेकेबल एम दिखा रहे हैं और डिसी ल्यूसेफर बार बार ऑप्ट कर रहे हैं ऑपरेटर का और वो काम भी कर रही है लास्ट टाइम उन्होंने किल निकाली थी अपना फेयर शेयर और किल्स वो निकाल रहे हैं इट्स जस्ट दैट ऑपरेटर से मल्टी फ्रैक्स करना बहुत ही टफ है और यहाँ पे देखिए उनका पर मल्टी फ्रैक का धंधा तो थर्ग ऑन फायर ने ले रखा है सेज बैटल सेज ऑन द ग्राउंड अगेन मल्टी फ्रैक के लिए मशहूर नोट करते हैं और ऑफ गार्ड पकड़े जा सकते हैं विफ किया है और ओमेन ने अग्रेसिव पीक देके दिया नहीं बिल्कुल ध्यान नहीं दिया कि उनके नीचे नैनो स्वॉम था उन्होंने बस अटैक कर दिया और टेंथ ने एक किल ली पीवी वन बहुत मुश्किल नहीं कर सकते थे ज्यादा कोई जेट वहां पे मुझे लगता है बेटर कर सकते थे बिकॉज उन्होंने बिल्कुल एंगल चेक नहीं किया बहुत लेजी कॉर्नर चेक किया वैसा डिफेंसिव साइड में नहीं होना चाहिए बिकॉज हमें पता है कुछ लोग बैक स्टैप्स के लिए रुकते हैं तो आपको तो सारा एंगल चेक करने पड़ेंगे अटैक में चल गया बट डिफेंस में वो लैक लक्सर नहीं होना चाहिए बट फाइव सेवन का हाफ देखने को मिला है फेयरली इवन स्कोर फेयरली इवन स्कोर नथिंग टू ब्रैग अबाउट फेयरली इवन स्कोर इट्स एनी वन गेम स्टिल हम देखते हैं कि कौन इस मैच को जीत सकता है कौन इस मैच को अपने हाथ में फुली कंट्रोल ले सकता है ये पिस्टल राउंड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि जिसका ये राउंड हुआ अगला राउंड ऑटोमेटिकली उनका जा सकता है क्योंकि एम किट देखा जाए तो बहुत सिमिलर है और डेविल मुझे लगता है शेरिफ से अर्ली अग्रेसिव दिखाएंगे और देखिए वो एम एम जा चुके हैं पर उनका गैम्बल गलत निकला बिकॉज सारे प्लेयर्स बी मेन और मिड की तरफ तैनात है ए शॉट पीक दिया जा रहा है और अर्ली बैक स्टैप की ट्राई करी जा रही है जेट के साथ हाई मिड से और बहुत ही प्यारे दो वन टैप रेना की तरफ से और एक और सोने पे सुहागा स्काई ने ले लिया है एक और ट्रैक अपने नाम और उन्हें एक और की नजर है ओमेन को रन करने की कोशिश करेंगे बहुत ही प्यारा बैक स्टैप डेविल की तरफ से अर्ली जो मैंने बोला था रन एंड गन करने की ट्राई करी टाइम बट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल इस सिचुएशन में मल्टीपल अटैकर्स आपके सामने हैं डिफेंडर्स आपके सामने है आप हर किसी को मानना चाहते हैं रन एंड गन काम नहीं करेगी स्टिंगर स्पेक्टर में भी काम कर जाए इस सिचुएशन में बट विद अ घोस्ट इट वाज रियली हार्ड फाइव एट की बढ़त बनाते हुए उन्होंने अटैकर साइड से अपनी लीड ली डिफेंडिंग मैप है ये बहुत मुश्किल होने वाली है अटैकर को भी इस मैच में कम करने की वेपन स्विचेस देखने तो मिल रहा है के और बहुत ही प्यारा अग्रेशन डेविल का थोड़ा ओवर पीक कर लिया मेरे ख्याल से एक किल लेके डैश कर लेते टाइम नहीं मिला होगा शायद से उन्हें और बहुत ही प्यारा फैंटम हाथों में दे दिए हिटू के हिटू ने स्पेक्टर से डबल डिंक मार के अपनी रेना सुप्रीमेसी जताई रेना डिफ दिखाया ए साइड पे घुस चुके और बहुत ही प्यारा रश बट तैनात थे ओमेन फुल नॉलेज थी उन्हें और बहुत ही प्यारा जब कोई नहीं देख रहा था उन्होंने स्मोक के थ्रू पुश करा और एक अनअटेंटिव प्लेयर का फ्रैग निकाला दिस इज एनिमल गेम नो विफ कर दिया गया है इसका आई की तरफ से तसल्ली तो से मारते टैप्स तो शायद से ये मैप उनके खाते में थोड़ा और साइड झुक जाता 
बट कोई बात नहीं डिफेंडर्स ने ट्राई किया ये मैप को जीतने का इस राउंड को जीतने का बट अटैकर्स भी बाय कर कहते हैं फोर्स बाय था तो थ्रिफ्टी तो नहीं था बट उन्होंने बहुत सारे फ्रैग्स निकाले तो इकोनॉमी दोनों साइड की हर्ट है फॉर द टाइमिंग अगेन सो जो ये राउंड जीतता है वो डोमिनेटिंग हो सकता है अगले कुछ राउंड्स के लिए बिकॉज बहुत ही क्लोज मैचअप मिड पे पुश करते हुए रेना ने बहुत ही अनयूजल पे डाला है सबकी कॉल आ चुकी है बहुत अच्छा पुश किया गया है पेज के द्वारा जेट के द्वारा माफ कीजिएगा और रिलोड करते हुए अल्टीमेट आ जाएगा स्वोट के साथ अपनी प्रेजेंस दिखाते हुए फेयरली सो बहुत ही अच्छे शॉर्ट मारे सेज ने हमने अर्ली पिकिंग्स भी देखी है उनकी तरफ से जब उन्होंने मल्टी फ्रैग निकाले थे अर्ली राउंड्स में भी बहुत ही अच्छा बट अगेन आप देख सकते हैं इकोनॉमी हर्ट है बहुत ही वियर्ड बाय आ रहा है डेविल ऐसा लग रहा है सेव नहीं करना चाहते उन्हें बहुत ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस है अपने एम पे बी शॉट और मिड अग्रेशन दिखाया गया है सिर्फ एक जना है बी शॉट बी मेन पे और बहुत ही प्यारा एक बहुत ही अच्छे दो फ्रैग्स निकाल लिए गए हैं अब इकोनॉमी और हर्ट हो जाएगी बिकॉज पहले ही बहुत ही हिला हुआ बाय था और उन्होंने और गन्स पकड़ा दी है जाके ए शॉट पे और बहुत अच्छा पिक किया गया है तो उनके अग्रेशन को रोका गया वो सोच रहे थे कि बैक स्टेप कर सके मे बी थिन लाइन से निकल सके और इन सब के बीच में किसी को भनक नहीं है पर जेट बहुत अंदर आ चुकी है साइड पे मार्केट क्लियर किया साइड क्लियर किया अब सिटी के साइड है पूरे साइड उनके पास है बैक स्टैप बैक साइड बी की क्लियर करी सिटी मारा गया इट्स जस्ट उन्हें हर जगह से कट ऑफ कर दिया सेज ने बहुत अच्छा पकड़ा डेविल वन बी टू वेरी डूएबल उन्हें पता है एक ने प्लांट किया था तो एक साइड पे होंगे पर दूसरे की भनक नहीं है बैक स्टैप से मर सकते हैं डेविल अच्छा एम दिखाते हुए वन बी वन बट उन्हें अगेन उन्हें लग रहा है बैक साइड है कोई आइडिया नहीं है जेट को कि रेना कहां हो सकते मुझे लगता है उन्हें पता लग गया और बुलेट्स नहीं थे बहुत ही अच्छा ट्राई बहुत ही अच्छा ट्राई जेट का पर थोड़ी से एमो ने साथ नहीं दिया रिलोड करने का टाइम नहीं था रेना दबे पाओ पास आए जा रहे थे और प्राइम बटोरा जा रहा है स्किन पार्टी जा रही है गेम में शेयरिंग इज केयरिंग एवरीवन सेज एट एट की स्कोर लाइन फाइव एट था सेवन फाइव का स्वॉप था और देखते ही देखते इट्स एनी वन गेम अगेन बी मेन और हाई मिड पुश करा जा रहा है आई मीन हर जगह है और एक और पनिश करेंगे दोबारा से बहुत ही अच्छी अर्ली एडवांटेज दे रही है स्काई अपनी टीम को तीन अल्टीमेट्स अवेलेबल दोनों साइड से जेट के ब्लेड स्टॉम बहुत ही पावरफुल है अगर वो यूज करे बट इस राउंड में मुझे लगता नहीं यूज करने की जरूरत पड़ेगी उन्हें बिकॉज अग्रेसिव नहीं दिखा सकते अर्ली मैन डाउन बहुत ही विफ बहुत ही वियर्ड स्प्रे था बट कोई बात नहीं एटलीस्ट फोर बी फोर पे लाए जेट को पिक ऑफ करा गया उन्होंने ध्यान भी नहीं दिया और बहुत ही बढ़िया पैरन होया ए शॉर्ट पे वेवरेक्स का दूसरा पिक लेने की ट्राई करेंगे अर्ली पिकिंग के लिए जाना चाहते हैं पर उनको ये चीज खलक जाएगी क्योंकि उनका फ्रैग ले लिया गया है उल्टे हाथ वो फ्रैग लेने गए थे वो फ्रैग धो के आ गए डार्क सोच को दोनों का पता है कि दोनों सिटी है पर तीसरा बंदा आगे नहीं पता और वो बैक स्टैप से मारे जाएंगे यही लैक ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन से यहाँ पे थोड़ी मिसकम्युनिकेशन हुई मुझे लगता है अटैकर साइड से बिकॉज उन्होंने एक अच्छा पिक निकाल लिया था बट उस पैरानोया ने उनके पूरे गेम को धुंधला कर दिया ऐसा लगा मिड पे क्लस्टर हो गए ए शॉट पे क्लस्टर हो गए उन्हें समझ नहीं आया कहाँ जाना है और बिल्कुल क्रंच कर दिया गया उन्हें सैंडविच बना दिया गया दोनों साइड से सिटीज ने अटैक किया कोई चांस नहीं था वहां से बाहर निकलने का और डेविल एक चीकी प्ले करने के लिए शॉर्ट ही लाए हैं सिर्फ एक शॉर्ट ही बाय करी है 
और ब्लेड स्टोन पे खेला जाएगा और खेला है बहुत ही प्यारे दो किल निकाले जेट आई मीन दैट इज दो किल गुड फॉर टू सेवेंटी एट एटलीस्ट वो अभी भी अपनी टीम के लिए जिंदा है नंबर पोस्ट कर सकते हैं और बहुत ज्यादा डैमेज दिया और शॉर्ट ही भी कमाल दिखाएगी आगे जाके बहुत ही प्यारा किल टेंस का उन्हें पता था बैक स्टैप को एक्सपेक्ट किया उन्होंने बैक स्टैप को बंद उन्होंने कहा आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस इन माई हाउस ओमेन एक पैरानोया ट्राई करेंगे और मुझे लगता है आके उन्हें जस्ट जस्ट क्लीन अप एवरीथिंग ये राउंड जेट के हाथ जाता हुआ ऑडिसी ऑडिसी वर्सेस डेविल जो एनिमे बैटल चला दोनों ने बहुत ज्यादा विफ किए बट डेविल ने बहुत अच्छा ब्लेस सॉन्ग दिखाया और मुझे लग रहा ही था कि उन्होंने सेव ही इसलिए किया था कि वो ऑपरेटर निकाल सके ऑडिसी ने डिफेंसिव साइड में अपने ऑपरेटर स्किल्स दिखाया था हम देखते हैं डेविल क्या उसे टॉप कर सकते हैं उनका एम हमने देखा है ऑन पॉइंट तो चल ही रहा है दो बहुत ही क्रिस्प वन टैप्स मारे थे बी मेन पे सेटअप करते हुए पे हैवी ए प्रेजेंस एवरीवन इज ए मेन और स्काई को ये मुझे लगता नहीं मल्टीपल लोगों को पहचाना और देखा बट क्लियरली डेविल बहुत ही एग्रोपीको पीक थी बहुत एम पे भरोसा बट एम ने साथ छोड़ दिया उस मोमेंट को किल नहीं ले पाए कन्वर्ट नहीं कर पाए फोर बी फाइव बहुत ही अच्छा बहुत ही अच्छा सैंडविच करा गया अगेन ध्यान बटकाया गया एक साइड से और देखते ही देखते राउंड खत्म हो गया तीन शॉट से ध्यान बटकाया गया हेवन से लगातार पुश करा गया अटैकर्स बिल्कुल क्रंच हो चुके थे साइड पे कोई आइडिया नहीं क्या चल रहा है और मुझे लगता है डिफेंडर्स इस चीज का बहुत ज्यादा फायदा उठा रहे पिछले दो तीन राउंड से वो अपने फ्लैशेस का बहुत अच्छा यूज कर रहे हैं जैसा मैंने आपको स्टार्टिंग में भी बोला था उनके पास स्काय है मल्टीपल फ्लैशेस अवेलेबल होंगे तो वो यूज करेंगे अब हमें एक टैक्टिकल टाइम आउट दिखते हुए चल रहा है वो मुझे लगता है ये फाइनल टाइम आउट है ताकि वो गेम एंड कर पाए उन्होंने फर्स्ट हाफ पे भी लिया था अटैकर से टाइम आउट और अब भी ले रहे हैं मुझे लगता है ये गेम क्लोज करने की टैक्टिक्स यहाँ पे चल रही है कि कैसे इस गेम पे कम ना करने दें अटैकर्स को बिकॉज अगेन एट इलेवन इट्स नॉट दैट फार अवे बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं है एक टीम अगर इकोनॉमिकली हर्ट होती तो अगला राउंड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली दूसरी टीम को जाएगा ही जाएगा तो ये एट इलेवन चेज करना बहुत मुश्किल बात नहीं है तो मुझे लगता है इसी का बहुत अच्छा टैक्टिकल टाइम आउट आया है ताकि वो क्लोज कर पाए इस गेम को वंस एंड फॉर ऑल और अगले स्टेज पे जा सके टाइम आउट एंड होता हुआ और हम भी वापस आ चुके हैं चार अल्टी अटैकर साइड से अग्रेसिव जाना चाहिए उन्हें ओमेन अपना पैरानोया टेलीपोर्टर को यूज कर सकते हैं और जैसे मुझे लगता है बीमेन के और बहुत ही अच्छा हितु ने निकाल दिया है मिड पे और उनको ट्रेड ऑफ कर लेंगे और अल्टीमेट भी कर लिया जाएगा ताकि पता लगे कि कहाँ पे है पोजिशन सेज अपने अल्टीमेट का यूज करते हुए रिवाइव करते हुए हिटू की गेम चेंजिंग प्लेयर है बहुत ही इम्पैक्ट ट्रैक निकाले हैं दोनों साइड से अल्टीमेट की बारिश हो रही है और स्काई ने सेज का भी पिक ले लिया है टू वी फोर लग रहा था डिफेंडर साइडेड जाएगा बट अटैकर्स का वो एक रिवाइव बहुत काम आया लगता है और मुझे लगता है नहीं किसी को आइडिया है कि अटैकर्स इतनी डीप आ चुके हैं मार्केट में तीन अटैकर्स मार्केट वन बी मेन बट गैम्बल उनका बिल्कुल बढ़िया है उन्हें पता है बी साइड ही आएंगे ए पे कोई रोटेट नहीं करेंगे और वो चल के आ रहे हैं सेटअप पे सेज के और स्काई के बहुत ही प्यारा वन वी वन चल के आ गए उन्होंने गैम्बल किया और वो जीत जाएंगे राउंड एट ट्वेल्व बहुत ही प्यारी रीड रेड यू लाइक अ बुक टेक्स्ट बुक उन्हें पता था टू वी फोर है स्टिल वो बी साइड ही कमेंट करेंगे तो हिले नहीं स्काई ए साइड पे थी वहां से रोटेट करके सीटी आए बी साइड पे बिकॉज दे न्यू ये अटैकर्स आएंगे तो बी साइड ही और उसी मोमेंट का पूरा फायदा उठाया यू नो यू टेक यू मिस इच एंड एवरी शॉर्ट इफ यू डोंट टेक अ शॉर्ट तो उन्होंने वो शॉट लिया कैम्बल लिया बहुत कम चांसेस थे ऐसा हो सकता था कि अटैकर्स बिल्कुल क्रंच कर देंगे बट बहुत ही प्यारा राउंड निकालते हुए डिफेंडर अब ये क्लोज करने की कोशिश करेंगे बहुत अग्रेसिव ईगो पीक हर बार नहीं चलती स्काई आपने बहुत अच्छे फ्रैग निकाले बट 
not every time they kind of expect it after once in a while omen ne smoke kar diya beam in ka push hote hue aur counter smoke aaya hai market ka sare tenant hai b main pe aur taran hai haath mein lete hue pakde jayenge bahut hi blunder bahut hi bada blunder omen ki taraf se हाथ में पैरानोया लिया और पीक दे दी अगेन पिछले राउंड के हीरो रेजनो गेमिंग इस बार ज्यादा कन्वर्ट नहीं कर पाएंगे बैक साइड पे फंस चुके थे स्टेज 28 एचपी पे आठ सेकंड के लिए डेविल बहुत प्यारा शॉट निकालते हुए मिस करा उन्होंने इन्हें दिल से तोड़ना पड़ेगा नहीं तो वॉल बैंग हो जाएंगे डीमेन जाते हुए अपना सेफली रिट्रीट करते हुए उन्हें पता है बैक साइड पे है देना डैमेज तो इसके डैमेज ये बहुत स्टैंडिंग टैक्टिकल टाइम आउट काम करा पूरी उनकी प्लानिंग काम करी जी जी वेल प्लेड इन दैट जीजी वेल प्लेड एवरीवे बहुत ही प्यारा मैच बहुत ही सुंदर मैच बहुत ही अच्छा डिस्प्ले देखने को मिला दोनों साइड से और 813 का बहुत ही अच्छा स्कोर लाइन रिस्पेक्टेबल स्कोर लाइन वेल प्लेड टू बोथ टीम्स बट अगेन कोई एक ही टीम आगे जा सकती है और इस बार वो थी बैड मूव डेविल 22 इन 17 बहुत ही अच्छा सिंगल सोलो परफॉर्मेंस दिखाते हुए बीम इन का और इसका सबसे अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस था जो बीम इन पर उन्होंने दो ब्लेड स्टॉन्ग से निकाले पिक्स बहुत ही प्यारा बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट था क्योंकि उनकी पूरी टीम का बाय था पर उनका नहीं था तो वो फुल शील लेके सिर्फ शॉर्ट और ब्लेड स्टॉन्ग के साथ आए थे और उन्होंने वो राउंड कन्वर्ट करने में बहुत ज़्यादा मदद करी
what a match congratulations to wave esports but honestly in my opinion i love a sage who can clutch with a bulldog anyway we have our next match lined up very soon and we'll get back to you with it very shortly until then stay tuned
And we're back. On to the fourth match. Now we've got our teams, Architecture and Astro joined with us. In another epic battle in the once again map of Ascent. I don't really mind that because I really love Ascent. But let's see what they pick this time and how the match proceeds. Alright, so we have our... Um, they're selecting now Astro and Architecture against each other head to head. Now I request my dear friends Arya and Kushal to take their amazing roles as the casters. Over As your caster, and as we can see, the defend the Astro is looking forward with the double duelist setup. Choose your agent. Uh, hey guys, sorry for the delay. And as we can see, the Try Hard Apex with the new Gaia Vengeance skin line. Let's see what they are up to now. The Killjoy is holding the mid very carefully, guarding the market area. Let's see, but the attackers had, have decided to go off to A short. And they have only one player at the lurking, at the B side. Rena kafi dhyan se mid ka angle hold karte hoi kyunki wo expect kar rahe hai ki koi. But, but, Astra ne zarur suna hoga ho spike drop ki awaz. Killjoy ne, I'm so sorry. And Kinjo and Reina with a head on fight. The two wins and Reina comes out on the top. Now the B side is completely empty. Even the jet is coming back at the mid. But the attackers have decided just to go off to B side. And if they walk into B side now, it's a free side. Like, there is no defense on B side. And dekhte hi dekhte side puri ki puri attackers ki ho chuki hai. Aur ab ye aa chuka hai. 3v4 retake pe. Dekhte hai. Soaked sack. Soaked sock. Bohadi talented player hai, bohad achcha aim hai, but let's see if he can do something miraculous in this round. Uh, but no, Sova comes out on the top, and Sova with a clean tap, and let's see Incognito, Incognito fighting off, and the Viper goes down. And here's the scoreline, like 0 to 1, 1 0 in the favor of Architorture. Now, this round plays a very important part as most of the time, the defenders will have to force by to the sheriffs. 
but mostly they'll rely on their abilities and they have only one marshal but they opted out to use the marshal they they'll go for full save and dusre hi taraf agar aap log jet pe dhyan de to jet ne vandal ke liye opt kiya tha but abhi wo all specters lagta hai ye kahin pe bhi b side pe ek heavy hit ho sakta hai and jet mid ka control lete hue kafi dhyan se and unhone spot kar liya hai तो देखने वाली बात यह होगी कि क्या रीना को भनक है कि जेट अटैकिंग जेट कितने पास आ चुकी है ट्राई हार्ड एपेक्स ट्राइड एपेक्स ट्राइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट हिस्स ग्राउंड बट ही हैव टू लीव बी साइड एंड टेक ओवर द मार्केट कंट्रोल मीन वाइल सेंटीसियन सेंटीसियन इज फाइटिंग ऑफ जेट बट वॉट इज दैट दैट मेन Rena is just trying to spam, spam shots to connect some of the shots to the players because they they both One know that remaining. both Jed and Viper. Oh, Tentation looked a little confused, oh, but nice. he connects the shots and again two zero lead for Arki Torture. Now this round, अब ये round बहुत ज़्यादा important हो जाता है दोनों ही teams के लिए. डिफेंडर्स के लिए इसलिए क्योंकि अब उनकी इकोनॉमी बनी है और अब जाके वो लोग फुल बाय पे अपने इस सामने वाली टीम की इकोनॉमी को रीसेट कर सकते हैं अगर ये राउंड वो लोग जीत जाते हैं तो उनकी इकोनॉमी को बूस्ट मिलेगा और सामने वाली टीम की इकोनॉमी को थोड़ा हर्ट तो होगा क्योंकि अभी ये लोग अपग्रेडेड गन्स पे नहीं है ये लोग लास्ट लास्ट राउंड के ही गन्स पे है सेकेंड राउंड के गन्स पे तो देखने वाली बात ये होगी कि क्या आर्की टॉर्चर बोनस राउंड अपना जीतेंगे या फिर या फिर एस्ट्रो का अभी कम होगा एंड वो लोग अपना फर्स्ट मैप लेकर जाएंगे एस्ट्रा पुटिंग अप स्मोक्स फॉर द मिड सेटअप एंड अगर ध्यान दी जाए तो अभी तो ए साइड की तरफ से सारे अटैकर्स रेना को जैसा कि देख सकते हैं ए शॉट से आ चुकी है सो so, अभी क्लोज एंगल्स को क्लियर करने की कोशिश करते रहेंगे रेना ने ए शॉट पे बहुत ही अच्छे से कंट्रोल ले लिया है गार्डन एरिया में घुसने वाली है लेकिन हालांकि सारे डिफेंडर्स को ये एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि कोई आएगा बट नो जेट लुक्स ऑन द अदर वे एंड ही गॉड अनोटिस ओ माय गॉड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टेरिबल एंड एग्जैक्टली दैट हैपन रेना विद ब्यूटिफुल 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 एंड एज डिल जस्ट ट्राई टू फिनिश ऑफ द this defense but tryhard apex is still fighting oh and he is giving up a good fight it's 1v2 now rena was a sova rena was a sova let's see who comes on top he knows the position but he'll be caught from the back side and again it's a 0-3 to jis round ki baat hum log kar rahe the ki itni important hone wali hai economy mein itni zyada crucial play karegi wo round arki torture ne apne naam kar liya hai aur अगर देखा जाए तो असेंट थोड़ा सा डिफेंडर साइडेड मैप है लाइक डिफेंडर साइड को थोड़ा तो फेवर करती है ये मैप एंड अगर आप डिफेंस साइड पे बहुत ज्यादा अपना लाइक बहुत अच्छा स्कोर खड़ा नहीं कर पाते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं आपको अटैकिंग साइड पे थोड़ी मुश्किलें तो हो सकती है एंड आर की टॉर्चर अभी वैसे ही इनका भरोसा तोड़ने के लिए बी साइड की तरफ एक बहुत सही पुश करने को तैयार है एस्ट्रा के स्मोक जा चुके हैं and again the side is in the control of arki torture a beautiful push a beautiful well coordinated attack One and again the remaining. spike plant is going on and rena is coming up coming up just huge rena got the two kills and last remaining sova on the market side i think they are expecting him and now they know the location too arki torture ka abhi yahi plan rahega ki inko hunt karke kisi bhi tarah se inke paas jo vector hai isko giraya jab but 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 wolf pack with a great kill a nice flick but he'll go down as incognito makes his mark with his bullets and tendesian ki champions vandal chamakti hui jaise ki hame dikh rahi hai bilkul abhi 
अभी अगर इकोनॉमी पे ध्यान दे तो इकोनॉमी भी अभी बहुत अच्छी है नहीं बट वॉट आर वी सींग We are seeing an operator in the hand of Sok Sok, and Sok Sok is a great player. He can do really wonders with that operator. It's just that we'll have to see what he does with the operator. A champion's vandal. I want to be happy picking off mid, picking off mid. Let's see what happens. But he's going to a shot. A very very cool creeping out to the a shot and. At the B main, Sok Sok is holding the clear angle with his operator. Everyone wants to make his name here in this round. Tentacion with a great kill on Wolfpack. Tentacion leading the charge onto the A side, and but the rest of the team is not has not entered the site yet. They are coming up. They are rushing from the A shot, and the Reina will try to defend that garden area. But garden area is already spike planted. Taken by the Argy Torches. A very well coordinated attack. And I want to be happy. Still holding up garden area. Gets one. Smokes off. Tries to run away, and he gets away with that. And on the other hand, Sok Sok got a beautiful kill with the operator, making the operator worth it. And I want to have. I want to be happy. Will go down. And it's a two v two retake again. Sova from the under heaven. Reina protecting from the side. It's going to be intense. But if you look at the HP, like the jet doesn't have much HP, and the time is also not in the favor of Astro. They'll have to run away and save the remaining guns. The only silver lining that they can hope for is that both both of the attackers will go down with the spike explosion. So that might hurt a bit. Of the economy for the Argy Torcher, but not much. Like as you can see, the Reina from the attacking side, he is going really insane. Like in ten to two KD ratio, it's amazing. Like he's an amazing entry fragger, and the Jet is really good support entry fragger. Like he's already creating so much space in the site in very less time. And Astra is also very well coordinated. I mean, let's see what this round holds up. For Arky Torture or Astro, I want to be happy. Very aggressive. The Reina flashing, Jet dashing into the side. Let's see. The side control is again given up for nothing. And it seems like they are they are just planning to go on the retake. They are not defending whichever area they are planning to hold. They look like a little confused, but the defenders still joy. Will have their lockdown. And I want to be happy. Can be in some problem because he's in under heaven and he will get detained unless right in the nick of time the lockdown is destroyed and the retake the host of the retake is also getting destroyed. Oh my God, this is nightmare. Sova coming up right in the nick of time to destroy that lockdown and that was all. And that was all I want to be happy needed. He needed just that lockdown to be destroyed and he came up huge. He made his mark again, like I have said in the last round. Every each and every player of Arky Torture is living up to his name. Is is creating space. Every support player, even so, was creating so much initial infos. The drone and everyone is just so well coordinated. Meanwhile, the economy on the Astro side is not very great. They are just using their upgraded pistols. Way. Let's see what this round holds. A very fast, aggressive A shot push. And the jet, I want to be happy. He's just running away with the blade storm in the hand. Let's see what holds for the blade storm. If the blade storm gets few kills, and we get to see some crazy one taps, and I'm pretty sure this man is capable of that. I want to be happy. Can and again at the garden area. Okay, Wolfpack got the information about one player at the garden area, and the shock dart will connect, deals a bit of damage, and a nice kill. A nice kill by Wolfpack, considering that Marshall and a nice clean one tap with Tryhard Apex. He's one going crazy, and Tryhard Apex will close the round with that smooth, crazy one tap. And Astro, out of every round, Astro made their mark on the round which we were expecting the least to come back on the upgraded pistols round. We'll have to give this round to the Astro for their efforts and their crazy aims. Tryhard Apex, really nice aim. 
let's see what they can do in this round as they have their vandals and phantoms and every gun possible the full buy round let's see attackers if you if you look at the map and attackers are it looks like attackers are planning to go on the b hit and triad apex is trying out something and he deals a damage connects one ball bank sheriff body shot and it's good like <laughs> something is better than nothing so and i want to be happy and reina just clearing up mid area and going towards the market and viper is just holding off the angle very big. this crossfire but it will be smoked or it will get smoked off soft soak oh my god soft soak what is this Spike defense down, mid. Three kills, crazy three kills by Tentacion. The in information was not there. There might be some miscommunications that Tentacion was already in the site. But what an amazing play by Sock Soak. Oh my god. Give me a break. And Wolfpack again, like clearing out with his ulti. And this round. Oh, Tentacion whiffing shots, and he will get punished for that. Wolfpack is not letting you go, my man, with that whiff. A very considerable round for Astro. The score line is six to two, six for the architecture. And now let's see what this round holds. Wolfpack is already Killjoy is uh, Killjoy is planning to set up his alarm boss and every piece of utility at A main because they are expecting the attack to be pushed on A side. But again, this time too, the attackers are. Different plans. They are planning to go on B, and they are committing full B push, I guess. And Reina with a very, very nice kill and very you crucial opening run. kill. But Top Top is again holding the angle. What can he do yeah. this time? Last time he went great. He went big. Now let's see if he can do the same and he, he can deliver the same for this round too. Now he has yeah. to run away because of the lockdown that is put by the attacker Skilljoy, but. The lockdown went off and now, now is the time for the 4v5 retake. Spike we have already it. seen these players are capable enough of, of having 4v5 retakes. It's not a big deal, but but let's see. There should not be many risks and the Reina is going off with the Empress. Let's see what the Empress can do. But Wolfpack lineups, oh my god. These lineups are too Shock great. Dark. And again with Shock Dark. And Reina just grabs the bull sack heads and the turret will annoy him. But Killjoy will take him down and Sock Soak again going off crazy. Both the players are in the boathouse. Let's see. Everyone knows that they are in boat. And Sock Soak, oh my god, crazy kill. The shot, the one tap. But, oh, incognito. What was that? What was that? I didn't expect that. Like... How? Incognito use, but like again, we can't take away everything from the other team. Sock Soak, a very, very nice try, but Incognito had other, other plans. Like Incognito is just playing on some another level. I don't know, like, what is what was that spray transfer, but that was pretty crazy. Now, let's see in this round, it's 7 to 2, the 10th round. Let's see. And the smokes are being used to block the recon. A piece of utility being used just to block another utility. I don't think it's a good trade, but let's see. It's a Killjoy will be holding off B side so that no one would lurk from the B side to A. And also watch the mid area so no one gets pushed from the A shot too. And all the four attackers are on the A side and only Viper is there. The Sova is joining Viper on the A shot. Reina is coming back on the A shot from the heaven area and the Viper's ultimate has been deployed. A nice kill from the Reina. Triad Apex is backing off because of the recon. And they are planning to retake, I guess, once all the players are near side. Because right now, the players are gathered up, but this spray Wolfpack connects to the Killjoy's head level. And the generator position has been pushed out. One is in under heaven. Everyone knows, but Sova is going off crazy. And it's only it's only on the jet. Let's see what Sock Soak can do, but not much. He tried enough, but it wasn't enough. Eight to two. 
This scoreline is scary, considering that Astro is playing on the defender's side. They need to do something about the defense. This is the time where they need to talk things out. Like this is the exact time and again the economy is not looking very great right for there. Astro. They are just right using there. upgraded pistols. Oh, Jet, Jet is using Church. Let's see what happens now. And as we can see, the Sova will use the drone again to clear the angle. And it can be, but I guess the kill. yes. It's a very well coordinated play by the defenders and it will pay off. Talk so nice one. A good kill. He'll, he'll try to take off the butt. Only good for one. The side entry is again given for free and Killjoy will be caught in meanwhile of re reloading and everyone's trying to retake the side. And this is again a 2v4 retake. And in this round they don't have like better guns. So most probably this is the done round but Wolfpack let's see he can do amazing things we have seen his aim but he'll be caught while doing the recon and Tetesian secures the ninth round for Arky Torture last round before the switch the last round the last round of the first half BYB fam. continues and Astro starts Astro now the Astro champion Randall is going in the hand of Tetesian this is the round. This is the round where everyone will make a mark like if it will be, will Astro be able to secure the third round? And what if it goes to 9-3? Will that be a curse? We'll just check it out now. Tentation is holding, ready to destroy the recon and yes, he does that. Every round, the same recon has come to his side. So yes, everyone would expect that. And as of now, the A site is completely empty I like none of the defenders are going to a side but at the same time a shot if you check at the a shot three players are holding the garden area the viper is rotating towards b no c is going towards a heaven and again the viper the same thing that we talked about earlier they are giving up the site control very easily they are not fighting for it and this could cost them this round but their aim is again at crazy but again bad luck so uh, just like the last Delete. round Recalling but still to incognito incognito going off crazy with the crazy headshot on the reina and now i want to be happy just defending with his operator anything that comes on the a heaven will be shot down let's see if 2v3 retake is possible and soak 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 getting the shot but his class it doesn't wave anymore now he picks way. up the vandal let's see what happens and there are multiple whiff shots they will not let you go if you make such kind of mistakes like we have seen in one round where the attackers made some crazy whiffs and they got punished away. instantly but Tentation playing off in his gravity well and oh my Last god what a round Tentation a very good eight. half by the Archi Torture 10 to no score line where it stands now and let's see if they can let's see if they can make a comeback if One the comeback the is possible or the Archie Torture will just stars. run over them let's see that for now the Astro the gun here the Astro are planning to go on the B side they are planning to attack on the B side and let's see if that works out because it looks like the defender side is pushing towards mid round because it's a heavy mid setup and heavy mid all of them are mid let's see what spirals down this round i don't know what they are thinking but if they are thinking something they are in the playing seat so they must be knowing very well and again they are expecting they are expecting a push astro they are expecting a push but a tentation going off i want to be happy what a long range kill with the frenzy out of every weapon Oh my god, but the HP, if you look at the HP, Sova is just standing at the nick of health and everyone in Archie Torture is at low health. But bad Wi-Fi is also at low health, so can't tell much. Again, the attackers are planning to go towards B side, but Jet, Jet is waiting for them on the B side. Jet is waiting for them and assisted by the Sova in the market. 
There is a miss smoke. I don't know if that is going to be the deciding factor. That may be. The recon goes out and he doesn't check his corners. That's why boys always check your corners. And now Viper will trade him out. But is it enough? It's a 2v1 retake. Is it enough? He's checking every corner. He's giving him time. And but he'll be caught in a surprise. And Incognito takes off the round again. Incognito has been a very impactful player for Archie Torture. It's 11-2 scoreline right now. If if somehow Astro doesn't get this round, which is very hard because it will be their force by with the sheriffs, it is going to be tough. Like then it would be next to impossible because then it would be 12 to 2 scoreline. And it won't be possible. It it is possible, don't get me wrong, but the hopes are really less for that. So just let's see this round what they are planning to do. No As for now, they are going for the force buy and they are planning to hit A side, which only Jess and sorry, Reina and Astra are defending. Let's see what they can do this round. And again, they are playing in the smokes. They must have expected that, but they are not aware of the judge yet. But now they are. I don't think it would be a very wise idea to go for the A site now, knowing that there is a judge holding that angle in the hands of Tentacian. But Jet is looking forward to challenge that judge at a very close angle. I don't know if that is a good idea or not, but but Jet Jet is inside the and so talk. What an amazing play! What an amazing play! Will be traded out with the Reina from the A Garden area. Incognito is. Going towards A side Battle just to make sure. Standing. But the Odin. But the Odin reigns and I want to be happy just shredding all those spam bullets into the body of enemies. Match point. And oh my god, what a matchup. What a matchup. Now this this is a done round as we can see. Turn like there the Astro doesn't have an economy left Placing in their pocket. Astro is working out with their upgraded Sheriffs, upgraded pistols, but look at Jet, look at Jet. Jet is going full disrespectful mode. Best. Let's see if that Odin and those wall banks can do something. And they are definitely, they, they are definitely doing something, but just something. Not enough. But we all know this player. The player has gone ups and downs in the whole match, but every time. He came at top. Somehow. Now let's see, it's a B hit. Jet is going towards the height and he is caught in a very unfavorable position and Five as a result, B. that over aggression costed him his life. But they know about one player being at the switch area and he will be taken down. But no, he denies that. He's saying no, not today. And the only one player at the B side, but with Last the old in that, that's the 3k Five and only B. bad Wi-Fi left. He'll get hunted down and just like that, Archie Torture with a 13-2 map point. Map. What a brilliant match. Everyone played super cool. If you look at the attacking Reyna, boy was he wrong. No, he wasn't wrong. 19-9. And assisted by the jet, I want to be happy. What an amazing play. Like, that was super cool. Everyone, everyone contributed well. Only uh, a little down point was, why are you running? And, oh my god, these names, these names are giving me a hard time. Seriously. But everyone in this matchup played very well. Incognito with those two clutches, if you remember, in the pistol round. Those were super cool. Now, over to you, Anandita. What a brilliant match indeed, Aryan. What a performance by Architecture. Another 13 tour in just one day. That's so cool for the winners, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, our next match is lined up and we will reach it very shortly. Till then, see you again. Don't leave.
वेलकम बैक टू जेस्ट वैल कप ब्रॉट यू बाय स्कूल ऑफ मीडिया फिल्म एंड एंटरटेनमेंट शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी इन एसोसिएशन विद एम एस सी स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई लक्ष्य डिजिटल एंड की वर्ड स्टूडियोज वी आर डन विद फोर मैचेज एंड आर जस्ट लेफ विद टू मोव बिफोर द क्लोजर ऑफ डे वन ऑफ दिस इवेंट वी आर सो ग्रेटफुल फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑन टू द फिफ्थ मैच ऑफ द डे वी आर बैक अगेन एट असेंट दिस मैप इज गेटिंग मेजरली फेवर टूडे और आई गेस इट नियरली ऑलवेज इज Regardless, we hear with Elden Lords as our defenders and Baiters as the defend as the attackers. Let's take a look at their picks of this match now. In Baiters, we have Reyna, Omen, Sage, Killjoy, and Jed. all wonderful picks for the map of percent and in and on the other side we have reena sova killjoy and jet until now lone is still yet to pick let's see what they pick and how this match unfolds in front of us we can see the picks are really interesting this time and i'm really really keen on watching how this match unfolds and how they select your the agent of these of the uh, abilities of these amazing agents we still have lone yet to pick and just one second on the clock lone has somehow still not selected though and this seems like a technical issue we'll be right back Please stay tuned and don't leave us yet.
Okay, we're back now. Now we have our attacker selecting Reyna, Omen, Killjoy, and Jet, and Sage. Once again, the same picks, wonderful picks as it is. At the defenders, we have Reyna, Sova, Killjoy, Jet, and Omen. I love all these picks, and I'm really interested to see how they use this. I really believe they're going to utilize it to their best, and I'm excited. So let's go. We have Elden Lords as our defenders and Betas as our attackers. 20 seconds on the clock. We're just going to start this match. And I'm so excited and I hope you are too. The defenders are mostly at B, while the attackers are almost cornering around the mid. We have Falcon holding up to A and Goku holding to B, but the attackers have not pushed anywhere yet. They're pushing to mid now, and we have Goku throwing the. the I'm 
will be picking back up and spike right now Nawab is A. planting the spike already which went down spike planted look at that trigger discipline coming in both the players are already present in the site and forge will already go down people are defending it from the under heaven but goku solos will take down nawab singh and nawab singh oh feeling a little bit afk but right now surge will be dominating this entire scene right there and right now elden lords are not at a really good start it looked like uh, they could defend this out pretty well but unfortunately the attacking side had the fighting advantage here with the pistols going in back and forth 0 to 1 on the score but the map of us and you're watching this Valorant Cup 2022 and we just have to see how this actually plays out because once again the spectres are already in position they will be buying those spectres and they will slowly try to make their way towards the a side and towards the short side while we can see kj is secretly present at the b side with her turret to avoid any backstab any knowledge that can be transferred over to baiters baiters are taking it really so not standing up to their name they are playing it out pretty well and they are playing it out with absolute discipline 1 2 and look at that the fight might just start to put in but unfortunately look at that the shot has been contested and nawab singh will get almost try to get one but will he get one and he will he definitely will then the ball comes in and goku solos will also be taken down forge will also join in the action and right now it's a completely one sided obliteration there is no fight back coming in from elden lords right now. and elden lords are now thinking what they can do better to actually fight back against them but the problem here is right now it's not that a uh, lone is giving a good fight it is more important that the entire team has to give a good fight but once again lone will now just simply back off he has claimed respect for himself but the entirety of the problem still remains with how they are going to actually fight uh, in the actual vandal rounds the bigger problem here being the bigger problem here being that in the vandal rounds once again elden rods might just not cope up with the skills that team beaters will put down but right the buys are pretty simple the uh, beaters will still uh, play on the bonus which seems yeah. like a good choice right now because once again they have the upper hand they have the advantage and they'll have to see how well they can play this out and right now half shields coming in so let's see if that is actually good for them because right now the money is in the bank accounts for them and the money will play a crucial role in case if they lose a few rounds or even if they lose this one but in case if they are winning this one then it will be super super problematic and right now surge will try to sneakily go towards the a side and the rest of the team will sneakily go towards the b side that might just be bit of a problem over here everyone is just holding it out nobody wants to give away their location but here forge getting that powerful deagle shot landed on goku and right now a perfect paranoia coming in almost took down forge a good fight back coming in from elden lord but unfortunately not enough to take them down and right now the eco round as we talk about is coming in good the eco round uh, technically the bonus round not even the eco round is coming in pretty well for team beaters right now and i'm just wondering what team aiden lord is up to because right now search v uh search vfx landed back to back two sheriff headshot seconds left and that is going to be lethal help first on the other hand will take down lone and that means the bonus round has been successfully won because the spike has been planted the advantage still stands 5 to 2 and right now sanjeev just wondering 
how he can make things in his favor he has started out by taking down surge maker which is a good start but still four people make it three ladies and gentlemen two versus three there is still hope they can still do this sanji will reload his rifle because he knows he now has to go in 30 clips and let's see if he's able to use this weapon well and right now the turret will go down we'll try to give him some location but unfortunately surge where fix is at and perfect location whipped a little but nevertheless sanji will also go down making it a 3 to 0 and with that elden lords once again will not be able to put up a score in the scoreboard and they have been eliminated And right now, I think some technical glitches are coming in. Uh, loan is connecting and reconnecting back and forth. But nevertheless, it might just be more of a problem to them. But I hope his connection stabilizes in the upcoming matches. Right now, Falcon, he was trying to be very cheeky with the Sheriff. And he has been punished. But that means a site is away for the toke taking. a site has just been given away. And the plant will be taken in. Post plant position, this will be acquired. But look at Surge. He will now hunt people down. He will now play super aggressive. He knows that someone might just come up from short sooner or later. And he's just holding it out. Now he knows somebody is at garden. He will try to take the one at garden. He does successfully. And look at that. Sanji is right here with the sheriff. But unfortunately, looking bad for him. He did try to strafe a little. But wasn't successful enough for him. One five versus remaining. three. Make it a five versus one. Veldora with his classic will miss every single shot except a few, not enough to take Reyna down 4-0 ladies and gentlemen and once again Peters will take the advantage of this situation now the major factor here is that in the map of Ascent while attacking they are already dominating and with the choice of roster that they have with the choice of players that they have selected it's a very good setup while defending as well. I mean, you have a KJ, you have an Omen, you have a Sage. So all three sides can be contested at all the times. Yeah. And you have Rain and Jet to rotate back and forth too for the extra fire support. So technically, while attacking, this is going to be equally troublesome for Team Elden Lords. And we'll just have to see how they can actually play this out better. 4-2-0, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll have to see if this is a... 4 to 1 because Ford just dashed in. He knew Lone will be vulnerable right now. He literally exploited his gun animation. And we'll just have to see if something better can be done here. Falcon has the off band, will pull the trigger and will get the confirmed kill. Surge goes down, equaling out the disadvantages. And Falcon will go back, smoke himself. Look at that. Forge is so eager to kill him. And. Forge will be remain. punished for his eagerness and this is where Elden Lords will get their breakthrough. This is where Elden Lords might just get their first round in the favor. But still, NQH is still alive, will not realize Goku coming up from behind him. 4-1 to one, ladies and gentlemen. This round is shaping up to be pretty interesting. This round is shaping up to be pretty good. Stay safe. So we're back with the casting and Falcon with the operator picking up on the B main area. But he's looking for a fight that the Reina won't give him because they know that there might be a possibility of the operator in the hands of Jet. And this is exactly their the attackers are playing very, very slow. Oh that tap from surge that will definitely make some problems for killjoy as the attacking killjoy it has put down the ultimate the lockdown the velo veldora has to move out but he's he choosing to stay and he whistles shots but makes one and detains let's see if he gets hunt down or he gets his gun back and roll out again for now the lockdown has not yet about anything but look at that look at that the fake the master play 
by the IGL of the attackers and it's a retake now Veldura will recover the AWP but is it enough is there they are, if they are having enough time I think they're not Sanji just putting up the numbers will one take down first Sanji is going huge Sanji taking down another one and clock is ticking Omen is trying to spam shots but he will die eventually by his counterpart Lone and a nice round for the defenders The score is 4 to 2 now. Let's see what happens. The defenders are going to make a comeback or the attackers are just gonna go over them. By the way, Singularity Phantom. I personally really like that skin. And if you see everyone, 3 man push at A site. Reyna is holding off the mid angle, checking if there is someone lurking from the B side or not. Purge is taking aggressive peaks and Surge will die at the hands of Falcon because his aim is too good with the operator. Sova is trying to delay the push and he is... Oh, bad, bad decision by Nawab Singh. He pushes onto the flash without breaking it of Reyna and Reyna will punish him for that minor mistake. Falcon whiffing shots and taking damage as in return. But just making sure he he has every bullet before going into the side because he knows the side the fights can be beautifully executed and Surge is trying to creep up to their teammates but he gets detained and he will get punished for staying in the recon for too long as it's never a good idea to stay in the recon that to in the open side but Sanji here comes the luck this can be huge but Sanji looking in the wrong direction and yes he will get punished for that. The timing, the little, these little timing that happens during the game, these are just unpredictable. But Omen, left. Omen is trying to make a play with the ultimate and goes directly to the B side and planting. And B side is completely open. He has to take some aggressive fights to make the numbers equalizer. Let's see if he can do it. He's more than capable of making a 1v3 clutch happen any day. But let's see if that day is today or not. All the all two of the defenders are all three of the defenders are coming from the market side. The recon will make, give away the position of Omen and that two of their teammates. Now at least he knows that someone is coming from market side. He's looking up very a nice shot could have been, but he risks it and Veldora will take it from him. They steal away another round, another good round. And the diffuse comes in. Pretty easily. It was an easy retake for them. It's T4 right now. Let's see. Now, now will come the part where economy will play a huge impact. Let's see what's the condition of economy. And for now, both the teams have pretty good economy. Attackers have a little, little disadvantage in the economy matters, but nothing much. But if you look at defenders, they are building up cash. The cash is stacking on defender's side. Lone is just for now confused and the mid area is completely open by the defense but they are hitting on B and it's a full B hit. Let's see if they are pushing or not. Yes, the jet is in the mood to push the boom and the defender kills where will deny that push. But you'll have to be careful with the mid and Sanji punishes. Surge and instant instant revive comes in from their stage and Sanji is again ready for the fight with his flash on his hand and let's see what he does Goku Solos will join Sanji to help him fight the mid if anyone aggresses from there and Falcon what a beautiful shot what a beautiful pre-aim onto the Reyna there are two more at the mid side at the courtyard area let's see who chooses to fight him next oh a very close shot towards and some spam shots but he's like who who's that who's that let me see let me see but no one's picking him again because they know if they peek Falcon with an AWP, he'll fly away with their soul. Oh, the cat and mouse purge. Purge and Sanji. Oh, he gets yeah. checked and purge. Thirty seconds left. I'll give him props because he checked the corners and usually we all know. Nobody does. Um, nice flick could have been, but 
Again, oh my god, oh my god, Purge is just popping off with those crazy aim. Even takes out the turret and the B side. Just it's just the killer on the B side, and Purge is just popping off with his crazy aim. There's only Jet Datu on the heavy area. He's trying to back off. Oh, there was Miscom. They thought it's B, but no. The A side, the plan has already happened, and they know the position of the defenders. He spots first, spots out, and nice spam shot. If they connect, but they don't. Falcon also trying to connect some of the shots through the heaven, trying to do wall bang, but it's not enough. They'll have to move in quick because the time is not enough. And what a perch! What a crazy aim! That 4K, that 4K saved the round for attackers, and this was huge, huge coming up from perch. The attackers are very well coordinated in this map, that's what I'm looking at. And again, if I need to remind you sometime, Ascent favors defender side a little, not by a much margin, but it is kind of a defender's map. But let's see. If not now, then when? So Van Kiljur holding off B, Omen on the mid, and let's see what Purge is hiding in his pockets this time. There's only Killjoy on the B side. It could be a great chance for Purge to just dash into the, into the side and take up the control of the side. It will be for free. Sova is anticipating a mid push. So he's droning at the mid area. He will get checked. Purge will get spotted by the turret. So he's just trying to hold off the push by slow orb. And look at that mid aggression, mid aggression. They took out the information from every corner of the map and then they decided to push up short because that's the that's the area where the defenders are mostly weak. In this match at least. The defenders are not contesting mid area so they are able to... There looks like there have been a, a little technical issue. Let's see if it gets resolved soon or not. But for now, Purge is just holding off the angle. He's just playing the pace and skate. Oh, he spots out the heel of Sova and instantly starts to wall bang that area. What left. a nice game sense. The turret is on again. They are still confused. And the surge, surge is reconnected. Oh, Killjoy, no! Sova, what? But it's a one for one tray. But Nawab Singh will take down Goku Solos. And the attackers are again. Attackers are playing. Attackers are playing. And Nawab Singh is in a great position. Will he check? The woman checks, but he comes on top. Falcon with the equalizer. Now it's a 2v3 retake. Surge is going for the back. What? What a nice shot. Surge, what was that? That was a good shot. And Reyna is just surrounded from. It's, he's just getting sandwiched. Let's see what happens and Sanji will take down Surge for his over aggression. Now let's see if he stands a chance. Oh yes, he definitely does stand a chance. Let's see, it's kind of a Sage to have to... Oh, Sage is the saving grace of the attacker side for this round. But Sanji, what a try. And what, what were those crazy shots from the operator? Oh my god. Oh my god. But again, it's a 3-6 round. Thank you. And again, the attackers are ready for the A hit. Let's see, Stanky using the off angle. He's camping. Accompanied by the Falcon from the A shot. And also the Omen from the east side. They're mostly pro uh, probably play on the Omen's flash, but attackers have decided to no. Nope, I'm not going at the east side. We'll just back off, rethink our strategies, rethink the holes in the map where the defenders are leaving some plot holes. Not exactly plot holes, but map holes. So let's just let's see. They, and again, they're one of the favorite areas to take control, and that is a shot, the garden area. And as you can see, two of them are pretty much ready for Falcon. And Omen is actually anticipating this. He's preparing smokes, but let's you see if run. it's fast enough or not. 
Attack is enjoy. And Omen will get caught. What a nice play from Purge. Purge is everywhere on the map. Purge is everywhere. And Nawab Singh is going off crazy. Is Falcon expecting someone? Now he does. Okay, some tap tap from the side of Purge. Let's see the operator Tanji punishing Purge through the smoke. I don't know how, but yes, he does, and he did get punished. Now let's see. Surge. Oh, what a nice shot by Falcon. Omen also misses. Oh my god. It's Sanji versus Falcon. He's just 2 HP, 2 HP and a dream. Let's see if he can do it for his team. Every oh my god, Falcon. What a clutch. What a clutch. What a crazy retake. That was 2v5 and that too when it was the time for 1v1. Falcon was just having 2 HP. What a crazy aim. What a nice performance at this stage of Valorant. Both the teams are fighting for this map. Both the teams want this win. No one, no one wants to lose this match. And absolutely, just like every match, everyone wants to win. And we can see in that their gameplay. Out. Now Falcon with the off picking on the mid. Let's see if some. Attackers with both of them get shot, but of what a nice shot from Falcon. But look at Purge. Purge is taking the head off from Reyna. Surge. What a nice name. Surge and Purge. But again, Purge is at the mid now. He was at the A main. I told you, this guy is at everywhere in this map. This guy just floats around like a butterfly and stinks like a bee. And again, the mid push, the A shot, the favorite area of Purge to contest. And this time, he will meet, he will meet Omen at A shot. And Jet is still confused, like Falcon is still confused if it's going to be A hit or not. But Omen is expecting it. But Purge dies at the hand of Omen. Again, two kill. What a Spike nice play control. Head. A little whip shot from Sage, but it's okay. It's now 2v4 to the hands of attackers. And the most important thing is the spike is in the hands of Omen now. Left. Which is being guarded by Omen at the A shard and a very unpredictable angle. But he's gonna predict it. Nawab saying, He decided at the last time, he decided not to. And he gets punished for that. Search, oh, search the timing. The timing with some of these left. players today are just insane. They're losing their duels without even taking fight. How bad is that? Again, Lone just taking out this counterpart. I'm just better saying that in the server with, the, with that 4k. If we miss that, yes, he had 4k. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it, but yeah, he did. Now Lone with the Spectre. Again, the economy has shattered for the defender's side. The last two rounds were just nightmare. But one was very good. As it was. Okay, he gets a drop from a very kind teammate who chooses to give him a phantom. But let's see. Falcon is again trying to peek off mid. And this time they are playing very slow. Not giving their position the attackers anywhere on the map. They are playing super passive, but Surge, Surge is not here for passive. With that, Aries, he gets shut down because at the long range. At the other hand, Goku solos. Handling the Operator. Sparing some shots from Operator. Let's see. Purge is Falcon with the shot on Surge. And Purge gets punished. To the texture, take the off angle. And those three, what was that, Sage? That was not cool. But again, Falcon closes it out. 6 6, bottom match. We are ready. We are ready for the second half. Are you? The second half starts and it's going to be a A hit as it seems. All the attackers are on the E side. But Killjoy setup. 
it's a little different like uh, usually killjoy used to like likes to set up on b side because it's you know very claustrophobic and the areas are very small and easy to make to trap in the enemies but e side they won't be expecting it and i guess that's why they are taking the spike at the a main and not b but purge with that sheriff i am sheriff let's see let's see what he's made of i mean we already did but let's see what he does now he can do some crazy stuff we know that oh my god sandy just disrespecting and denying that sheriff with that clean tap what was that that was cool and now just taking off one kill and going off to a shot everyone thinks that it's b hit but trainer at the a shot now sage will definitely give out the call to his teammates and as a result killjoy is just leaving the site i guess falcon spots killjoy at a shot sanji on the other hand taking surge walking site Falcon gets into the side and the side is given up for free. What a beautiful play by the attacker. What a beautiful play. Just exchanging some chip damages. Both yeah. of them are very low. Killjoy and Sova. Oh, oh, oh. What? The, that 180 one tap. Surge was like just... Not today mate, not today. Just keep on spamming and I'm gonna delete you with a one tap. And Falcon again punishing him for that because what he has done to his teammate that was disrespectful. That was emotional damage. <laughs> and he gets punished for that. And technical timeout coming in. There has been some technical timeout. Let's see. Who gets on the top? It's a good time. It's a good time to have a technical timeout too or a strategic timeout if the reconnection has been already done. It is it is the time, yes. It is the time where defenders have to figure out what they missed out in the first half. In the first round of the second half, that was the pistol round, the last round. The attacker just played with their mind and every everything just shattered down once. Jet got deleted with that one tap by the Reyna. Let's just see what they bring in this time on the table for us. Because attackers will have their force by with the Spectres and defenders will try to come up with the upgraded pistols. But if they decide to do or not, let's see. I guess no. But again, it's going to be impressive to see what they come up with the, those classics and those frenzies. While most of the defenders team are securing B area, the attackers have no intention on going B. They are all in for A mid to A split, A short. And no one's on the A main but B side. Two of them are lurking for the B side. A crazy stage wall just to delay the push a little, just to buy time. Just to give time to his teammates to rotate fast and help him at the A-shot area. Omen does come, come through but what else? They only have classics and look at the attackers. They're just playing with the mind. They are rotating over to B-side which is completely empty. And at least it will take a decade for Reyna to come and delay that push. And okay, not a decade but what, what, what? It's only Sage left now on the market Spike side planted. and everyone, everyone is gonna hunt him. Look at Falcon how aggressive he is but Lone takes up the kill. What a round. Now there will be buy round becoming. Uh, it looks like the AFK player has returned, so let's see what he brings to the table. Again, it's a bonus round for attackers. Let's go. And defenders are on their full buy. If they convert this bonus round, the economy will boom on the side of attackers and at the same time, the dis economy will be destroyed on the side of defenders. So it's a very must win kind of round for the defenders and purge with that 
beautiful spray on to the Reina. He takes it, he takes the fight and he comes back safely. And that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. An early long range fight where they can use their vandals. They can take advantage of their vandals and exactly Purge did that and look at rest of the team. They are on the B side and Omen, they are just planning to go on the B side. Omen's ready with the smokes. The recon's already in. But Killjoy, Killjoy is defending that B side with the help of Tage. That's on the market side. Let's see, but but if you look at Falcon, he's just he's just holding off that A main area, waiting for someone to come peek and gets punished. But no. No fights given. Left. No one's given the fight and the, they are again coming back to A. What are they doing? They are just going back and forth between the sides and it's just messing up with the minds of the defenders. But it's just 12 seconds left. They will have to choose a side and it's A left. most probably. Reina with the one. Reina with the two. Reina with the three. Oh my oh. god. Surge. Those clean three. Kills were just awesome and that secures a round for them. Now let's see what happens. It was a must win round for beaters and and they did it pretty well. But this round now the attackers are again with their full buy on let's see again if they try to mess up with the brains of these defenders the betas betas are having a hard time figuring out what they are trying to do in this map and where they are like, and falcon making a five before advantage for their team elden lords and Owen is slowly, Lone is creeping up to the A main and anticipating if someone is on the Vines area. But I think he is trusting his guts and he will decide to not choose Vines. If he does, that's great teamwork. Uh, that's a great individual skill that you check your corners. But I think he's not going to do that. And the uh, attackers, like look at that. At the starting of the round, they were at the A main. Then they went off to mid and now they are planning to hit on B. Which again is guarded only by Killjoy. So let's see what Killjoy is capable of. Nawab Singh, it's all on you, my mate. It's all on you. The flash is ready. Jet is also ready for the dash. Let's see what they do left. now. Lone catches Surge. And the siege can't help Nawab Singh because of those unpredictable shock darts, those mollies, everything being put on the. Market area, but Sanji will have to check the Oh, what was that? Sanji? And the spy drop at B main. They will have to get it. And okay, they got it. The plant is being done. And Perch left alone in this 1v3. Can he do it? The question is can he do it for their team baiters? Can he put up the equalizer? Or will it be a 9 to 7? He's checking every corner. He's anticipating everything. The turret is will not stop for him because it's a one step down. But there is not much time, and they are not giving him one v one fight. A good decision made by the purge to save the only vandal that is left in this round with the baiters. He hears Sanji, and what a nice shot! At least he does some damage. <laughs> uh, even more something is better than nothing again but he's making huge numbers for his team every time now we are seeing like every time he's taking up he's making a man advantage for the defenders for baiters but his team is not like capit it's not able to capitalize really hard on that man advantage but again that doesn't mean that they are playing bad or they are not uh, able to or if they are not capable of capitalizing, it's just that both of the teams are playing really good and Elder Lords 
slightly better for now because of the score line obviously but look at this time the Lords decided to go up to the A main and this time they are carrying Spike with them will they again rotate over to another side or this time they will go for a boom surprise and just rush to the A side which only Surge is holding for now and Omen is Omen is little bit confused whether he wants to stay on A side or move towards B or mid area because again mid is uncontested for now by defenders and and beautiful flash this will pull off Surge a little a counter flash from Surge he's not getting any fight and Surge gets put down even in his Empress uh, feels bad but this time Veldora just Veldora just camping on the garden area these spam shots if they connect and someone dies they would be so mad they hear a judge now they will play from long range yes exactly and what is happening i am not getting it what is happening one is god when he's on the generator you have to defend your teammate oh he does but guess what it's a new round it's a great round it's a much needed round for elden Esports to make the score line even close 9-8 we can see no one's stopping no one's putting up like everyone's putting up a huge performance everyone getting impact tracks and no one's losing hope like everyone's trying hard like this is a try hard match as we can see this is a, one of the most competitive match that we have seen today and i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it very much i hope you guys are enjoying it too because it's a match to enjoy and if you Get out of my way. look at killjoy on the other side and what a beautiful shot by falcon falcon oh my god he just shuts down the operator like it's nothing it's a frenzy at a long range beautiful and the revive comes in but i think at the wrong time but oh my god sage what was that Nice free transfer, but Op is recovered and Op pays well. Sage reduced to atoms. And now Surge is the only one here. And those, oh my god, that one tap from Omen, the loan. The better Omen wins. As the saying goes, the better wins. But again, look at this, look at this. Once Killjoy started to rotate to a, towards A side, Look at them, and with this Last judge can be a problem. But Sandy at that down, close range, taking out the judge with that orb out of every weapon. Surge in left. a one v two. Around which was in the hands of on paper, which was in the hands of defenders are now losing. But it's one v one, Reina versus Reina. Oh my God, this is going to be huge. Spectre versus the op checking the wrong angle sanji you need to be careful with he's trusting sheriff more than the specter and i respect that but in, is that enough is that enough what a, what are they doing what are they doing sanji what are you doing what a beautiful place sanji there is no time for the diffuse oh my god these guys are giving me a hard time now these guys oh very well played sanji that was wonderful play yes every time it's not necessary that you go and take away take the fight head on head sometimes you just relax chill out ignore <sighs> what a nice life lesson if someone tries to fight you just ignore them just like sanji did anyone a nice life lesson by RM. So mark that in a notebook. Yeah. Now again, that Kiljoy is with the judge. Nawab Singh. Nawab Singh has given all hopes into the judge from last two, three rounds. He is using the judge and he will use the judge for this round too. Let's see what he's planning to do. If Jed, if Jed challenges this, Falcon is in danger. But the danger denied. 
If the danger denied, the Nawab Singh at the close range with that judge goes down now. For just trying to take away the turret without using his knives because that's the thing he's gonna make his play on. And we will have to watch if that is possible or not. And look at the attackers, they are again reuniting at the A main area. And for now, Jet is just contesting mid, but he will he will not find anyone on the mid side but this time they have a read they have a read this time a side the drone goes in the flash comes in jet dashes in wonderful push sanji and sir gets a kill with classic i want to know what happened there like this is all good but i want to know what happened with trainer and everyone tries to push in and everything denied will get spot that wall bank will hit it just trying to connect that airy shot and he will though oh that dink at the last bullet but that is not enough to silence sanji sanji is just going crazy it's 11 and 8 and now it's problem for defenders from the lords Elden Lords. Now if we look at the economy and look at that. Omen has decided to use Odin this round. Let's see what does that do. Purge is pushing A main but guess what? This time there is no attacker on A side. This time everyone's on B side yeah. hoping that defenders do a little bit of mistake and they'll capitalize on that. They are hungry for that. They are hoping for that. They are waiting for that. The recon comes in. Will scan nothing. None of the info given. But now look at Jet. If he... Oh, there was a chance. Now it's gone. Here. And look at the market area. Only Sage is there to contest it. Reina flashes in. And Falcon got denied by the hand of Sage. And Reina watches in the wrong direction. Sanji. And now it's a tough situation for attackers. It's 3 v 5 Both the duelists out. It's just Killjoy, Sova and Omen. All the passive abilities. Omen will have to be a pseudo duelist. But let's see. 30 seconds left. For now, the thing is that they can play mind games because look at the omen. He has his ult. He has one smoke. He used one just now. He has all of his abilities. Purge will hear everything. And he will punish that Sova for that. But Veldora take up his revenge easily. He has his ult. But I don't think he's going to use it this round. And what are those missed shots? But again, damage control has been done by the surge. And it's 11-9 uh, go live for now. We'll just have to see what the other team... They're like, this is the time. This is the moment where you go all in. You show all your cards. If you're planning some crazy strategy, go all in. If you're planning some unexpe unexpected killjoy setup, just send him off to the bedside. Do something. Do something different. And Perch will take down Sanji with a beautiful headshot. I was assuming at the start of the round what happened. And Sanji will take another down. Falcon is down by the hands of Perch. And Perch has created a huge advantage for his team. That is being equalized by the efforts of Veldora and Surge Maker. Ooh. That Odin spray from long range, you know what, I respect that. But again, it's a 4v2. It's 4v2, let's see if Purge can take it from the killer. Yes, he spot them and what a crisp Spike shot. Down, mid. What is this aim? And Goku Solo is just hoping that I don't want to die like this. Surrounded, he's getting sandwiched and it's 11 10. 
Like I was saying, you go on and... I need this. Thank you. Judge Maker is happy with his old and he doesn't want that champion's vandal. He says, nope. Come here. I'm gonna use my yoting. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm controlling the spray from a very far distance. I'm good with it, basically. And this time it's a A hit. It looks like a hit. I don't wanna say it's a A hit because as far as we know, the attackers, they try to, they like to move around the map. And the frenzy with Sanji. The economy is certainly not good with the attacker side right now. So it may be an equalizer. But let's see, Falcon with the Spectre, he will have to make the play for his team. But that turret is annoying as hell. Such gets one kill. He needs to realize that they are... Oh, that second kill was crisp. And Falcon gets down the only Spectre in the round. Purge takes up Goku solo. The plant denied. And what a round. Sanji left alone with the Sheriff. Six bullets. Four defenders. Let's see. Ah, uh, denied. Oh, nice shot by Sanji. Deletes Purge from the A main area. Now... Surge Maker spamming and denying the entry. And yes, Nawab Singh will close it out at 11 11. What a match, what a comeback, what a roller coaster of pride. Like, one team is winning, other team is losing, and like, it's, it's crazy. It's very competitive. Now, let's see. Nawab Singh is again setting up all his utils on the B side. Marking for someone to go play the locks, but I think that was a miscom or I'm just being too smart. But something's happening, something's cooking up in an attacker's mindset. Look at that, before the barrier round, they were in front of the B main and now they've decided to late push A main. No info given because they were technically nowhere at the map at the beginning of the round. They were at their spawn. But we'll just chill here. We're good. We, we, we are in our uh, comfort zone. We don't want to leave our spawn. We'll just stay here. But now they have decided not to. And everyone's like... Like this is the thing. It's out. their sweet spot. A side. They do split. Jet dashes in. And everyone entering the land. Reina. Reina comes up on the kill with Falcon. And the Odin comes in. Odin wins. Just... Let's see to see if the Odin finds. So now Sanji knows. Sanji knows. And Sanji denies. Nawab Singh and Omen. It's a 2v4 retake. And what a beautiful shock dart. Uh, second one was not as beautiful as the first one. But oh, what a whiff. And he will get punished for that. Surely. These teams are not fooling around with you anymore. This is. This is the round where the defenders, if they have the economy, which I, Match point. I'm i not sure about, I think they will have a hard time having good weapons for the last round. Uh, no one wanted to close out the map like that, but their economy is pretty good, not as miserable as I thought. Yeah, they can work around with it and this is the most important round for the defenders. Will it and a great time for the timeout too. They need to study their attackers. And let's see what they cook up their strategy. Let's give him a little time, a one minute window to cook up something to just mess up with the attackers because right now they are playing mind boggling good.
Now load with that Odin asking for the Phantom. And this is the round where it all comes in. These two teams have fought so well. And this could be the final round. And defenders will try every inch of their effort to make this round a win for defenders. Because if that happens, then it will go to overtime. And I'm I'm pretty pumped up for it. overtime. I'm all in. I can watch this match go to 3-4 overtimes. And I'd like that. I'm enjoying it. Attackers are just playing, just trying to play default and pick up, pick up some members, some opponents if they do a mistake and tries to peek. Every time they are peeking like in 2-3, they are not giving 1v1s to their defenders and defenders are again playing very passive. Now this time, again Surge Maker with that Odin, the entry has been denied. This poked off and the defenders are, this time again, they have a good idea of what is going on. And these attackers are preparing for the B hit. Let's see what that can do. And Sanji, Sanji catches Surge, uh, but decided not to give a 1v1 and give a man with the party, but Purge. Just takes off Goku solos like that and Odin, will he get an idea? And that whip shot from Jet might cost them this round. And Sanji coming up huge with the Sage. The pick on Sage, that was a pretty important one. And now it's a 4v3. 10 seconds. The spike has been planted. Reyna on the Empress. And Lone gets denied by Nawab Singh. Sanji making up the equalizer. He's just hitting 1 to 1. And it's a 3v1. Yes. Well played both the teams. Well played both the teams. The Elder Lords coming up on top. And what a match. What a great match. And can we can we can we appreciate Sanji? 30 and 15. What were those entries? He was creating space like it's his house, the ascent. It is his place and both the Sanji and Falcon, both of them, they are creating space like we would do in our home. A very good match. But everyone well played. Everyone played super well. It was a pretty close match. GG's to both the team and congratulations at the frame. Ah. Now, over to you, Anandita. What a wonderful match. Both the teams played so well and I congratulations to El Rods for winning this match. I'm so impressed and I'm so thrilled that I got to watch this competitive and such a neck-to-neck -neck match. Now we are we've left with just one more match and we're going to start it very shortly. Stay tuned.
people feeling like the light has just come we must never stop the way yeah. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. have just begun we will always take a stand for the people for the land let's go back to Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. When you want to get off the darkest ground the gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too When you want to get
to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down And see this too. When you want to get off the darkest ground, but gravity pulls you straight down.
Stay. 
वेलकम बैक वी हैव बीन गोइंग ऑन सिंस टेन थर्टी ए एम और अब हम आहिस्ता आहिस्ता सनसेट की ओर बढ़ रहे हैं और हम पहुंच चुके हैं डे वन के लास्ट मैच पर बट आगे बढ़ने से पहले हम देना चाहेंगे अपने हार्ट फेल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल द विनर्स and even those of you who lost today to us you still epic winners because participation and just trying makes you stronger and better than so many others we are proud of you all and so grateful for your presence this last match of ours is going to be a really special one because we've got nbd esports and anime lovers with us here today both really amazing teams and we are certainly expecting spectacular performances on both ends this time finally breaking the monotony we've got our next battle in the map of haven this botanese map breaks away from the tried and true method of having just two spike planting sites and to be honest breaks away the monotony in my life with its striking beauty let's watch what kind of interesting plays interesting plays we can observe from both teams especially with defenders having to spread resources thin to cover all three sides so now we have defenders of our first half as nbd esports and attackers as anime lovers let's see what they'll be selecting for this match We can see NBD Sports are selecting Drays, Omen, Chamber, Sova, and Sky, whereas Anime Lovers have selected Sova, Omen, Jet, Killjoy, and Chamber. We have our caster as Kushal this time, and we are going to move on and give the mic to him now. On over to you, Kushal.
we have some technical issues on our side we're so sorry but we're going to be back very soon please stay tuned
Something to hold on to, gotta find it first. But here I am, cause I've been laying under palm trees, waiting for the summer. No, and there's nowhere to go. Cause I am happy on this island, wanna be my fondless. I don't ever want to leave, I'm in a tropical. Want you to take me back, I'm going insane Just come and take my hand, come dance in the rain Wash away the pain, and now I realize just what I have found Cause you will always occupate my mind
We're so sorry to keep you waiting. Due to some technical difficulties, the last match of this day will be held off stream. But be back tomorrow because tomorrow we have really great stuff planned just for you. Thank you to everyone who joined the stream. Thank you to all the players who played with us today. And thank you to our sponsors, Lakshya Digital and Keyword Studios. Thank you to Shada University. And thank you to everyone. We are so grateful once again. Have a good day and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going insane Just come and take my hand Come dance in the rain Wash away the pain And now I realize Just what I have found Cause you will always Occupate my mind